salutations, uh, slightly frustrated streamers. Oh, wait, that's me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was having low bandwidth messages pop up, which is unusual. Um, <clears throat> I certainly have uh, an internet connection that can, that can handle streaming. I also have a, a, a laptop that can handle streaming. But nonetheless, I suppose this happens to everyone occasionally. Let's hope. <laughs> It's only mildly, occasionally. That doesn't even sound like it's phrased right. Anyways, folks, Automatic here for Automatic Games. Thank you for, for joining me tonight. Uh, we will see how this goes. I'm not especially confident that it will go well. Nonetheless, I'm going to try to limit what I'm doing here. So uh, that said, uh, I'm not running with, with all the programs that I normally run with. Um, and I will not be showing the video where Galero, uh, showcases his mod. Um, I thought I would, but I don't know, maybe an extra instance of YouTube was, was screwing with me. I can't be sure. Nonetheless, we'll just go ahead and load up Fallout in the background. And if at any time, well, I suppose I'll ask again once and if there's viewers on board, uh, for those viewers that give me some feedback in terms of the quality of the video that they're seeing. And you're not seeing anything at this time, because what's the point in showing you the Fallout loading screen, right? If you're watching this, you've likely seen it hundreds, maybe even thousands of times. So this mod, Age of Airships, it was, uh, it was created by a, a mod author by the name of Galero. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And he throws in, I may be wrong about this, I want to say like eight airships, uh, several of which are historical airships, three of which are fantasy-based, uh, airships essentially that he designed himself. We'll be looking at as many of them as time permits, and he's also got three missions there, so we'll take a look at some of those missions. I I'm going to purposefully not do one of the missions, because frankly I, I can fit it into my main story, though I don't know if I can fit this mod overall into my main uh, Fallout 4 stream story, um, but I don't know, maybe people can help me with that, whether or not, you know, you can't quite say that having the historical airships is more friendly, of course, right, but uh, boy, I, I, I gotta tell you, the desire <laughs> for them to be more friendly is there because I, I am a, absolutely a sucker for airships so let's see we'll be doing this uh, why not do it with Allison Keen and in doing so I'll be able to show you a little bit of another mod um, this one created by Kanata who does a lot of clothing mods many of which I've actually uh, already downloaded but this uh, latest one, um, I, I actually uh, suggested and, and talked to him about. Um, it's it's cheerleader outfits. So maybe we'll look at some of those because I think Allison has all of them. But more importantly, at this at this juncture, anyways, because this this mod just dropped today. It's the Age of Airships mod. So I'll go ahead and take away the present screen. And here we go, Allison Keen, wearing a cheerleading outfit, Bears, uh, what school is that? That's DB Tech, uh, whose mascot is, of course, a bear, Hen hence the bear head, right? You know, I do have to say that the bandwidth issues do not seem to be persisting. I don't know if, uh, how the quality looks on the YouTube end, but I certainly hope it, it looks all right. So, so let's take a look at these cheerleading outfits before we step outside and look up. Uh, so yeah, the Bears, DB Tech. What else have we got? Boston, of course, right? You know, gotta have Boston. Well, there's Boston South and Boston East, I think. Uh, there's only one cheerleading outfit, because frankly, uh, you know... Why do one for both schools? This, this will suffice. So as you can see, the color scheme is white and red. 
but yeah, I, I think I think they're nice. You know, I like the socks. Um, however, I, I do like the whole knee socks thing. Uh, th these are more uh, almost like leg warmers. Would that be accurate? Either way, it's it's fine. I like the mod. Let's see. Let's move on from Boston. Sorry there. Accidentally hit the uh, the start button. Yeah, let's deal with the schools first. Next up is Malden. Which, as you know, is up there in Malden. Not to, not to sound redundant. Color scheme, uh, very much the, the vault tech colors. Which, you know, in a way is kind of a nod to the, to the fact that there's a vault <laughs> under Malden. Um, so why not actually have the uh, vault tech color scheme? in play next up let's uh let's look at suffolk i think that's the last of the schools is it not i believe it is now this one's got the pink and purple color scheme going and uh you know that is kind of a nod to uh well to the pink goo that you can find there in Suffolk, uh, Suffolk Charter School, right? It's got that 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 food paste that that's pink, so that was kind of implemented into the the cheerleader outfit there, and I think even the ghouls in there have a, a bit of a pink complexion. Boy, it'd be interesting to see a ghoul wearing this outfit, wouldn't it? N not especially sexy, no, just interesting. So now we've covered the the schools. Let's move on to the other mask. Mask, sorry, I just saw this disgusting mask and just said it aloud. Let's start with devils. Nice. Ah, uh, you can see that she's she's kind of got got hose on. Uh, God, I tell you, the the shoes with the leg warmers, it almost looks like boots, don't it? Doesn't it? I should say. And then, of course, the word devils. Now, this does not really represent a school. Could represent any, though. I mean, most of these schools really don't have a mosque, mascot. i, I got to find my words tonight. Hey, what if it's not bandwidth issues? It's speaking errors. Um, but I don't know. It's got red in it. You know, I guess you could say the Boston one could represent one of the two Boston schools, and this could represent the other. Really, whatever you'd want to do with it. Anybody know what Darling in the Franks is? I do not. The Burning One, do you know what that is? Or are, are you about to tell me? Or, or, or seriously, are you, uh, are you, like I, ignorant of, of what, the, <laughs> what that is? And full disclosure, I'm ignorant of a great many things, so. Uh, let's move on to Perone. I mean, this is a bright color scheme. This is this is pretty cool. And this one, uh, I think, uh, Kanata just kind of did on a whim. He said he, wa he wanted to do one that was just, you know... I think he said lore-breaking, but that's a little extreme, because, you, you know, I mean, really, this, I don't know, it could work. Hey, it depends on what you want your character to dress like. If you're dressing like a cheerleader, I mean, you're already uh, pushing the envelope, so why not wear a cheerleading outfit that says Perron? <laughs> Would you be asking me if you didn't know what it was? I, I don't know. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, good, good. <laughs> you you kind of... You withdrew that statement. That that works. Now we're going to turn to kind of the darker ones. And this one, this one I especially like. Um, I think there was a school in mind when we brought up this one. In fact, you know, this is found in a school. Trying to remember which one it is. But, uh, I think this outfit's just, this could work for just a flat out raider trick, chick. Or trick. She could be both, right? 
but but I do like the outfit damage. Obviously, you know, the rest of these outfits have been stored properly within these schools. In fact, so damn well that they uh, they didn't even get a, a, a singe. But this one, no, this one is the exception. Quite dirty. But I like, I like, I could totally see a, a, a raider gal wearing this. I mean, but who, do raiders call themselves raiders? I don't know. Do not know the answer to that. Next up, I know there's one more. Oh, Princess. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, it's, so, so this is in reference to what Darling in the, the Franks is. It's, uh, it's a really bizarre anime, but kind of funny. So is, is Franks the anime? Or is that the whole thing? Darling in the Franks. Because I'm, I'm completely, uh, completely lost when it comes to that. I haven't watched anime in years. So there's Princess. Also not the cleanest one, right? I mean, it looks like she's got some fecal matter about this shirt. And frankly, that's my fault. That is my fault. This is, this is the one outfit. <laughs> Kanata sent me a, uh, sent me kind of a, oh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, um, essentially like a texture sheet, and he said, go ahead and play with this one, and so I did, and this is what I came up with, uh, and sent it back to him, and, uh, yeah, well, I kind of went crazy on the, uh, the shirt mud, but in the end, uh, I don't know if she's a sloppy eater, or if it's shit, or if she's been eating shit, right, it could be both. Let's hope she wasn't. I don't want to conjure any images of, uh, what is that, two girls in a cup? Yeah, that would be bad. Welcome to hippie living fallout style. That is so accurate. I mean, you know, she does have the, uh, she has the left-handed cigarettes. But, uh, she's also got a shit-covered shirt. So, in both respects, kind of hippie. And McCready isn't really helping the matter there with his ridiculous looking like circa 1992 jean shorts great look McCready so considering she's going to be boarding Zeppelins I think she should dress a little more uh, formal I suppose yeah screw it for now she's a princess a princess with a shit covered shirt let's go honey so welcome aboard Grayson how the hell are you tonight Darling in the Franks is the title. Gotcha. Duly noted. I'd like to see mole rats in little uh, cheerleader costumes. I think that'd be that'd be adorable. I jest. But you never know. If people start taking in pet mole rats, uh, that would be bound to happen. I mean, after all, it already happens with cats and dogs. So, yes, I'm looking to the sky, looking for a Zeppelin. Oh, I found one. It's shaped like a baseball bat. No, I mean, there has to be. Or there ought to be one up there. Yeah, well, I don't see one yet. So, okay, we'll, we'll depart Diamond City. JPEG Odev. Hey, uh, hey, uh. While dodging Ronnie Shaw. <laughs> How's that update coming? You, you prick. Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Because I didn't get enough shit for that last night in your stream. But, you know, full disclosure. I mean, I was in Discord with, with some of the people that were giving me shit. So, so you know, it... Uh, I like to think that they were just just busting my chops, razzing me a little. But let's be frank, I handled myself well. I didn't break down. Okay, at one time I went outside and cried, dropped to my knees, looked at the sky and screamed, no. But, I mean, it was a passing thing. It was very brief. <laughs> my, 
well, you get points for participation there. I will let the, the rest of the group know that you are officially a member of the of the Raz Auto Club. Okay, well, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Do I notice anything different out here? Yeah, glaring right there. So that's probably going to take us up to a zeppelin. Where are the zeppelins? Hello. Well, it's a dangerous place. Lucky you're near the great green. Shut up, officer. I'm I'm talking. It's not that dangerous. There's zeppelins in the sky. They're, they're truly dangerous. People would be leveling ar small arms fire at those things. But you know what? That's kind of cool. I, I I still go back to. Them. Let's say let's say you had this mod. Let's say uh, you downloaded this mod. And by the way, everyone can, which is kind of kind of blows my mind that, that you can get this mod on PS4. But the reason being is he used in-game assets. He just retextured it all. Um, but in his his little blurb about this mod, you know, a few people asked in the comments, like, well, how the hell do you expect us to believe that this is available on PS4? Well, from my understanding, it is. But again, if, I don't know, I, I constantly go back to the lore aspect of it. And I should probably have my HUD on just to see uh, where this thing takes me, because I assume I click on it and I'm off. Yeah, it is. That's true, Grayson. That is so true. Oh, shit. Here we go. Yes, you can board all of them. From what I understand. No, no, no. I take that back. There are some. There's one class of airship. And I think there's eight of them in total. I'd like to double check that. But fuck it. Facts. Who needs them? Um, especially in this day and age. But there are eight of them in total. And one of the classes. Uh, I want to say it's the R101 or L101 or some some shit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make several mistakes tonight. Um, it'll actually attack you. And you cannot board it. So you just got to fire up at the little gondolas and try to try to kill the crew members that are manning the guns or whatever. I don't know. I haven't experienced it yet. But uh, the other seven Zeppelins you can board. I want to say three or four of them have player homes. You know what? I, I really need to check this shit out so I'm not giving bad information. But that one that we just saw, yes, you can get aborted. And this one... Um, this Zeppelin that we just came aboard here, and we will explore it. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that now. If I would. Essentially, it's a hub for the other ones, if that makes any sense. So from this airship, you can get to all the others. Okay, that's glass. That's that's good. Uh, it's thick glass, too, one would, one would presume. Hopefully thicker than, uh, thicker than this. Yeah, it's time to activate the HUD, because what you do is you kind of use these to get to the other Zeppelins. You don't have to. There are vertebrates scattered throughout that will take you up to the Zeppelins. But, uh, this is kind of a, a, a cheat Zeppelin, huh? Get you there. It's an all-in-one. So yeah, let's activate the HUD a little bit. I don't know, and perhaps I should explore this one a little bit. So that okay, so this takes you to one of the missions. He's put three missions in here. They're not they're not very lengthy missions. Uh this is the Omerta Airport. Is that like it reminds me of of, of Omerta. You know, like the, the old old mafia kind of word. Um Yes. Sweet. The Hindenburg. Without the swastikas, but he did say you could activate the swastikas. Which, frankly, yeah, I, I would probably do. Just because the Hindenburg did roll with them. Well, it didn't roll, it flew. Then it crashed, of course. Okay, this will take the ship to, uh, to Far Harbor. 
this will, of course, take the ship to Nuka World. Those are some pink roses. That one's empty. I wonder if that means uh, future content. But this one takes you to Empire Bay. And what he's got going on there is you go to Empire Bay, and there's a, well, a dreadnought, like a World War I battleship. Uh, United States, or the USS Caldera, and you can steal that battleship. I should stick to Dreadnought, because I don't, honestly, they didn't have battleships in World War One, did they? Um, but you can steal that Dreadnought, and you can sail it back to the Commonwealth, and use it as a player home. It's got a workbench aboard it. So that's, that's kind of interesting. Oh, this will just move the ship to different, uh, different locations. That's well, that's fun. Okay, next up, the Graf Zeppelin. Was it the sister ship of the Hindenburg? I think it was. I'm not sure. I know that they retired it after the Hindenburg. It actually had a fairly successful career. Um, I don't know exactly how many seasons, but plenty of them. Certainly compared to the Hindenburg, which I think only had, mm, I think, three seasons. So we'll check that out, and, and I believe it's, it's yeah, it was a sister ship, and uh, I don't know, I'll talk about it when we board it. Russian Revolution Mission. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> we'll, we'll do that, too. Okay. And this is the Red Rose. So this is one of the fantasy zeppelins he implemented. It should have the lead zeppelin. I don't know. I don't think that one could be flying, but but it definitely should. Probably get some copyright strikes too, because I I'd have to play some lead zeppelin. You know, you just you got to. And I guarantee the art would be cool. Now, I was never a huge Led Zeppelin fan, but damn. Their album covers kick ass. Frankly, their music does too, but I don't think I ever truly owned an album. So what am I missing here? What is this one? This might be the one we're aboard. Strange. I don't, oh, okay. Yeah, there is a pilot's gondola, but that's it. Okay. Well, is there another one on the other side here? Yeah, there is. Yes. And that's the Achilles. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It looks like a sister ship to uh, this one. Shut up, McCready. I shouldn't have even brought you along. Put a shirt on. Yes. It's time to find that out, Japheth. Let's uh, let's have a look around this thing. And Sushi Cat Gamer, how the hell are you? Myself, I'm doing better better than when we last talked. <laughs> always, always got to take a second look at LEAD. Lead or lead? So yeah, JPEG suggests climbing upstairs first. Where were those? Over here. Well, before we do, let's peek in these compartments. Oh, shit. So this is a whole level here. I'm kind of amazed that these are all in-game assets, just retextured. But they have to be, right? Because there's absolutely no other way that this would be allowed on PlayStation 4. I mean, it would have to get through Bethesda first, and then and then Sony. I'm damn certain Sony probably looks for that shit, or, or they have some kind of program that can tell them, right? Clearly, it just compares files. McCready, you gotta go, man. I can't, I can't be doing this. What do you want? Take this. You're gonna need it. Don't gift me, man. Don't give me shit. It's not, it's not gonna help. Just go. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey. I think you're making a huge you're mistake. You change that hat with that you know necklace? Find me. Go on now. Uh, 
Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, and thank you for asking, David. I, uh, no, I, I started the stream earlier and uh, had bandwidth errors. And they were pretty severe. They were in the red. So I wasn't, wasn't too thrilled about that. You know, you spend all this money on a laptop. You you make sure you've got uh, the highest internet speed your provider provides. And that shit still happens, right? Well, if anything, uh, Galero is... is uh, yeah, he definitely puts enough quarters in here. To, to add to the realism. You know, uh, I think there would be some mod, mod authors that would say, for game's sake, let's not put as many quarters. But no. He does. And, and each accommodation has a dresser, mirror above it, and eight bunks. Sheets nicely folded on each bunk. Yeah, more of the same. Is any of these going to be different? Inaccessible. Interesting, inaccessible. Rear utility area. Let's check it out, shall we? Yes, this is available on PS4. This is a utility area? This is glitched out, kind of. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close that door. You know, he's, he's going to have some issues out there that I'm sure he'll address in an update. I think we just saw one of them. I know what, what you're saying, Jay, because there's a lot of stuff I have not seen in-game, but somehow... That's Bloodleaf, okay. Looks like shrimp. Dark-colored shrimp. Somehow he, he got him in. Now bear in mind, he did say that, that you know he just painted them, used in-game assets, shrunk them, uh, enlarged them, and, and painted them in order to, in the end, make it uh, street legal for for, for Sony. Um, but you know, I mean, you got to think that this thing has been uh, well. Clearly, it's passed the test. This is the bridge. Double door to the bridge. Before we do that, let's head upstairs, shall we? Well, you know, I've never really looked up. Oh, well, that's nice. Interesting. So he took those clogs and retextured them. Damn it. He had to have added shit to that. Yeah, gotta love the name. Sadly, I'm ignorant. There's the R100, so these are the ones that attack you, I suppose. No, because... Because if it says open, you can definitely board it. So maybe he's got both. Like, you can board one and then other copies of that same class uh, will attack you. I don't know. Damn, this is nice. Yeah. Wow. This is the dining area. Yeah, dude. Yes. This is pretty. There's the headless bartender. Ah, uh, truth be told. Of about these drinks here. Huh? Quick smoke, how the hell are ya? Aw, oh, thanks for checking in before you go to bed. That warms the heart. The old crystal yes. liquor decanter. Ah, uh, can I... Retextured bar doors. What am I running into here? Or they just not want me back here. Yeah, they, they just don't want, want you to come back there. Oh, that's too bad. Huh. 
That's interesting, though. I gotta say, this dining area sure is a uh, huh? sure is eye candy. Man, pretty, pretty, pretty. <laughs> ah, that's 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 chicken noodle soup for the soul right there. You're dreaming of me? I can dream about you. Uh, how, how the re how does the rest of that song go? Whoa, whoa. Yes. I remember that part. Okay, it's got a pool table on this side, so so this thing should be listing for this side. No, yeah. they probably have extra ballast on the other side. This is kind of cool. I like, I like. Yeah. I really enjoy the... the so this is a smoker's lounge. Hmm. I don't know, man. Smoker's Lounge on a Zeppelin. I'm not saying it wasn't done. It, I know for a fact it was done. But this would this would be a pressurized door. Like, the compartment where they would go have, have their Smoker's Lounge. Uh, you know, it was, it was its own isolated apartment that was, that was pressurized. For obvious reasons, especially with the hydrogen-filled Zeppelins. And this is going to be more staterooms, right? Oh, staterooms is right. This is nice. This is much better than the accommodations downstairs. That's cool. I love it. He, he just put the dressers upside down. I guess everybody sees that. But that's great. That's brilliant. Yeah, so the, the staterooms are fairly nice. I like that too. I, I mean, I don't know about the the red table under it, the little seance table or whatever, but I like how he just put that one that one carpet textured tile on top of the table. I'm sorry, I'm gonna goof off on some of the smaller things like that. Great chandelier. Uh, the rooms are numbered. So everything with a number is just going to be another one of those. Yeah. Yeah, it was a silver shroud. I mean, that's pretty cool. They got celebrities aboard. What am I looking at here? I mean, yes. Yeah, I'm keeping in mind that this is a... Uh, this is one of the fantasy airships. There's the Pridwin. Huh. So, so it's a pool, but it's empty, right? I mean, it's, yeah, it's... Oh, no, it's not empty. I just couldn't tell. Interesting. Hmm. A pool aboard a Zeppelin. I don't know. I don't know. In a fantasy respect, that's awesome. In reality, I cannot imagine that would work. Rear utility. <laughs> that one's inaccessible, which might be for the best, because that forward utility area would seem quite perilous. It just seemed like a, a, a long drop. Love the doily. <laughs> Love it. In-game assets, really? Okay, so if we search everything up here... No, I, I presume we haven't gone in here yet. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. That's, that's where the Silver Shroud was hanging. Out? It is the height of luxury. Oh, it's a sauna. Yeah. Fancy wall light. I'm assuming that was in the sauna room, yeah. Mm. 
is that in there? Is, is that a phone? Oh yeah, it's a phone booth. <laughs> Inaccessible, but but in terms of aesthetics, that's kind of cool. A black bobblehead stand, I guess, because it's it's all right, Deco. What do we got in here? Reading room, of course. Oh no no no! This is a. Yeah, this is the physician's office. Huh. I don't know, that's 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 kinda cool. Fancy metal swirlies out there in the hallway. Oh yeah, I think that's what you're talking about. Oh damn, and then look, he just used like the church fans up there, covering the light. And actually, that roof, that's the bar. You know, so too is the, uh... Ah, uh, never mind, I've... I'm not gonna be able to stop as I'm aboard these things. I think especially the fantasy ones that, uh, I'm just gonna be looking to, to figure out what the hell assets he was using. I don't know if that's reception or just the doctor's office or, uh, his, I would presume his medical books. Or maybe this is, like, it doubles as both a reading room and the, uh, and the, uh, the ship ship doctor's office I gotta say though even though I'm not gonna like implement this into my my normal uh, playthroughs I this this guy is creative creative as hell that's gotta be the Akron right yep the USS Akron wow god I'm looking forward to boarding that I'm done. I'm done. That is fucking beautiful. Is this where Beauty and the Beast was filmed? It's that big ballroom from Beauty and the Beast. That's beautiful. Huh? And beastly. I agree, Cat. How is a raven like a writing desk? How? I need to know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so you mean, cat, you mean like the window here? That's the base for one of the fountains? It's amazing. <laughs> Some of them are bent or something. Either way, it's... I'm impressed. This is the height of luxury. Got a piano. Yes. You have to. You just have to. The Hindenburg had one. Oh my god, so you guys... He's got a whole... Uh, Orchestra section here. Man. I have to go take a cold shower. Because this is hot. Jesus. <laughs> I had to look to see what the, what the little placard said doesn't say anything massage parlor a hookah he's got a hookah Jesus I hope this room's pressurized 
I mean, this is dangerous, folks. But I don't know. It's it's the Fallout universe. Maybe they figured this shit out. Okay, well, I think we've pretty much looked at most of this, Zeppelin. In terms of the passenger quarters, I'm starting to think that you can't go up into the envelope. Which I don't know if I like that or not, to be honest. I Certainly, passengers wouldn't be allowed to go up into the envelope, but... Oh, I see. Mary Lane, 69. <laughs> that is funny as shit. Another airship needs your help. Yep, that is fucking hilarious. Points for coming in on a strong no. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, obviously that's just a podium, but and he's... He's got the, like, the little Boston historical marker thing angled. But I like it. I like it, dude. Okay, so let's let's check out the bridge. Yeah, stealing the planters, yep. Jesus, this is a fancy ass bridge. I mean, so this this entire again with the upside down dressers. Love it, dude. It's such an obvious thing. But I would have never thought of it. <laughs> Guten Tag, gentlemen. Damn. How Germanic does it get? Oh. Weird. You've all got different, so so you're not you're not for uni un you, what's the word I'm looking for? Uniformity? No, you're not. That's okay. So he's yeah. the captain. Do they say anything? No, they just say yeah. Short coughs and whatnot. Um, I'm assuming this is like radio or no, navigations. Yes. 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 We talk like this all day, folks. Okay. Well, I I want to say that's it. Thanks, gents. Everything passes inspection. Uh, you might want to have a look at those smoking zones, though. I mean, uh, pressurize those rooms. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> but the Raven and Riding Desk have no place in Cat Lady's house. Yes, yes, you nailed it. The the crew, the officers are posing as as Maxon, a courser, and the silver shroud. Yeah, uh, I'm glad I'm streaming to show it because this is not. I mean, I can't imagine the amount of work he put into this shit. But I just called it shit. I'll try it. Um, but you know, it's got a lot of ships to cover here. And yeah, I don't know if I've done a real thorough job, but again, I don't think we're getting up into the envelope. So let's move on to, there's so many Zeppelins to check out. I want to check out another fantasy one. The Heracles, Yes. Because I don't remember a, a historical Zeppelin, certainly not a famous one by that name, so this one is presumably fantasy. Let's check it out. I agree, Jacob. Just, uh... <laughs> how the meeting would go between those personalities. I imagine you're right, Cat.
Hey, if you don't mind, let me run a little test real quick. Um, tell me if you can still hear my voice here in a second. Can you still hear my voice? Is Are they picking up my voice here? Um, let's see, Elgato seems to think it is. Hey, take it easy, Quick Smoke. Thanks for coming by. Grayson, you're you're fucking with me. I know that. <laughs> so, so you're no. I'll take that as a yes, and I appreciate the feedback. Okay, cool. So that means Discord is cooperating for the moment. Yeah. Um. And so, if any of you want to be guests aboard these zeppelins, uh, feel free to hop in. Otherwise, that's fine too. So this is the Heracles. It seems uh, slightly more conservative. Certainly a narrower, uh, yeah. narrower build. Yeah. Again, it lets you jump to the other Zeppelins. And again, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. For for purposes of showcasing all of these, it's great. Upside down dresser. Restrooms, uh, showers. Same deal here. Yep, same deal here. With the uh, state room. Oh, this one lets you go into the envelope. Sweet. I mean, I say sweet, but uh, you know it's not going to be, like, super impressive, because after all, it's the, uh, it's the behind the scenes, it's the nuts and bolts of the, uh, Zeppelin, but I don't know. I think it's kind of cool because I, I like to have free reign. Cruise quarters, of course. Okay, you gonna let me buy? I don't think you are. He might. Uh, he might actually be there to stifle travel in that direction. Damn, makes me wish I had the push mod. Yeah. I'm sorry, cat. That last message is retarded. <laughs> Did you say I could jump my fat ass in your Discord? Yeah, yeah, you can. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm not saying your ass is fat, though. Oh, boy, Billy's acting up. I'll tell you what, if it's not bandwidth... I mean, are they... Are, are the stars just aligning against me here? If he doesn't quiet down in a matter of 30 seconds, I'm going to have to take a quick break and go check on him. Yeah. Alrighty, cat. Sounds good. Hey, if I got to check on Billy, uh... Um, when you jump in... Um, I may just be away very briefly, though. Oh, that's different. Going kind of for the uh, airliner composition of seating there. It make, makes me wonder if these folks would even have a stateroom. Hey, Cat, how you doing? What's up, buddy? Cat, <laughs> you sound so different. <laughs> I didn't even hear you say cat. <laughs> yeah, I, I said, hey, Cat, how you doing? I'm all presumptuous. <laughs> Jaybig, how are you? Good, but glad to hear that you. would be Cat. Hey okay. guys, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Yourself? I'm doing well. I've only got until my noun rings me, and then I have to go. Right. So about half an hour or so. 
Yeah, yeah I've only got to that myself. Though. <laughs> well, that cool. though seems somewhat dangerous. Yeah, doesn't it? That doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> Here I was ready that... to plunge forward and, uh... Yeah, That's no. that first step as a doozy again. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, good. Billy's gone quiet. Ah, this is kind of more more a traditional uh, pilot house, I think. Nothing too fancy. Seems so much it's more. It's a beautiful mod, though. I yeah. agree. Yeah. It's still nice. Yes. Oh shit! Uh, we're in Far Harbor. I guess I didn't even realize that when I was looking out that side door. Yep. Huh. That seems to be an easy way to get there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd probably one. need, like, the free four legs or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Power armor. Uh, but if he's out over the ocean, then <laughs> you might well, you know, drown wearing power armor. Then take the Aqua Boy perk, you'll be fine. Looks like... looks like land, I think. I don't want to look directly down. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, looks looks like you'll uh, hit land. I had the overwhelming urge to just nudge you right then. <laughs> uh, so glad this isn't multiplayer. Not like a push, just, just a gentle nudge, just to make you wet yourself a little. <laughs> I'm yeah, hoping, is it one I'm of hoping those... you would grab my arm after that, you know, to pull me back. Yeah, it's like, that's what I was thinking. It's like one of those ones where you sort of like grab you by the shoulder but push you forwards and then pull <laughs> <Yeah>. you back. <laughs> that's my we hope. I noticed Jacob's yes. being silent on that. <laughs> no, we do that all the time at work. It's, it's hilarious. Uh, then I, I did it to Gav, but we've got the harbor and that. And I just sort of bounced into him, forgot that he's, um, yeah, he's got dyspraxia. So you just sort of nudge him and he sort of goes two feet because his sense of balance is pretty bad. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was just like, oh, shit, go oh, grab all of him, pull him back. <laughs> <laughs> then make sure he doesn't end up in the harbor. <laughs> What she's yeah. not telling us is it was actually a full hip check, not just a <laughs> not just a nudge. Yep. yep. Well, I did say I have a fat ass. <laughs> I heard Otto <laughs> said that. Way, way, way. <laughs> <laughs> How did we get here? Oh, that's cool. He's got the um. Yeah, he's got the windmill generators. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. That didn't even occur to me until you said it. I mean, he had to do a lot of, you know, thinking outside the box to get this, get this all together. Yeah. I've always wanted to build my own airship, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Here's a problem. Well, kind of, yeah, this one kind of uh, huh? puts most yes. of what we do to shame, doesn't it? Sadly. <laughs> it does kind of upset me. This is just what modders can do when using the appropriate uh, tools. Yeah, but... It hurts. It really hurts to see stuff like this. Yeah, hit me right in the pride. Well, where did he get the piano? Why am I... Where did I miss that? Yeah. I mean, uh, is there a piano in game that I'm just... I can't recall? There's got to be. And the third rail? Oh, there is one down there. 
I'm also wondering about uh, a lot of the fancy things, if they're part of maybe that, uh, that one vault, the robot vault at Far Harbor. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. some of it, yeah, I think some of it I recognize as like, um, like floor pattern, but it looks like he's taken the pattern off and put it elsewhere. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. He's done a lot of that with, uh, I don't know, you wouldn't call those tablecloths, maybe table mats. I like that. So, I don't know, so easy to accomplish, and yet it never occurs to me to do that. Yeah. I don't have a world map in my game. Where the hell's that thing from? Okay, that is, because <clears throat> yes, I, I do have it uh, via mods. I've got it. It looks like he added lines to it. When, um... I might be wrong about this, but when the, uh... When the news broadcast was going on, does that guy have a map behind him? At the at the very beginning of the game? On the black and white screen? I, I, I don't know. I want to say yeah. he does. I might be wrong, though. But I think it shows up elsewhere as well. Oh. Yeah. I, I can't just, remember. I'm can't sure remember. I've seen it in color. But then that might be mods. Yeah, see, these floors. Um, not the window underneath, yes. but the actual floor bit that you walk across. I'm sure that's flooring. I'm sure that's flooring where he just isolated the pattern on it, the glass one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he just isolated the pattern and, uh... Yeah, so I'm sure they're actual flaws. Like, in-game. And he's just changed the skin for... Uh, uh, you know what else blows me away about this is, uh, the download? Nine megabytes. Yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> I know. Because wh when I saw the ad for this, I thought, oh God, do I even have enough? And <laughs> I saw nine. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I have enough. I have plenty. <laughs> that yeah, I'm, shocked me. I think I, I, might, uh, yes. I, I might do a mod review of this myself. Might. It depends on how I have time. Yeah, yeah. I think he deserves it. I mean. Well, as long as you don't do like a, you know, challenge video or a monthly update or something, you'll have plenty of time. Right, Otto? <laughs> Gotta take a quick break. <laughs> go back outside. Drop to my knees. And scream to the stars. Um... Oh, we got our first crash. Damn, that was that was appropriately timed. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was a legit crash. I didn't do anything. <laughs> oh like, yeah, we, we believe you. <laughs> screw you guys. I'm taking my mod. I'm going home. <laughs> Quit making fun of me. <laughs> uh, we gave you so much shit. That's all right. That was fun. I took it all in stride. <laughs> See, I, I missed out on the Discord ribbing last night, so... Yeah. Honestly, in Discord, yeah. there was a lot he, more he was getting it. Yeah, he, he, he was getting it on both sides, because he was in, us, uh, in with us on the Discord as well. <laughs> so it's like we were sat there, we were like giving him shit on Discord, and we were giving him shit on your stream. <laughs> I I gotta say that I got more shit on the stream though in Discord sometimes it was just silence and then every time a comment showed up on your stream there was just <laughs> <laughs> just just laughter yeah. over and over yeah it is gave you so much shit but this it's, is what you it's get because we love you, you. <laughs> yeah yeah that's 
I'll chalk it up to love. <laughs> Sometimes we just love to abuse you, is all. <laughs> it just, it just hurts, man. <laughs> no, really, we we do love you, Otto. If we didn't, we wouldn't, you know, say such nice things. Yeah. <laughs> like, where's your fucking update? <laughs> God, this is two nights in a row. I know we're just talking. It feels like two nights in a row. Where where are my defenders? We we just need to get the stream back up so we can start talking about the mod again. That's all. <laughs> That's true. But yeah, honestly, this is just for the conversation. <laughs> yeah, filler. Come on, loading stream. <laughs> come on. But honestly, I am. I'm gonna run real quick and get a drink and take a puff of a cigarette to relieve stress. <laughs> All right, hon. I'll be back. Have, in a fu have fun. <laughs> we'll do. Right, talk soon. If if you need a topic while I'm gone, Otto hasn't submitted his challenge update in like four weeks. I think my title sufficed. Yours was too wordy. All right, I'll be, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, talk soon. So how's your uh, leveling coming along, JPEG? Uh, level 32, so it's not so bad. Nice work. Streamed on both Friday and Saturday nights, so that's helpful. Yeah, so you're getting there then. You just got, what, another three levels before you're... Yeah, before you hit Thursday? Yeah, before I officially ca caught up. And uh, mm -hmm. lots of building to do between now and then. I'm sure you can do it. Oh, I'm, I'm sure I'll find time to do something, of course, but... Gotta tell you, I spent my time watching uh, Nacho's uh, monthly update today. Yes. Holy crap, the amount of time he's put into that. that. That thing is amazing. I haven't actually watched any of the updates. And there's some that I haven't watched for like five weeks. <laughs> it's just a couple of people I have to actually uh, watch their updates for about five weeks. Nacho's is very impressive. I've got to catch up on that number too. I'm not even watching them. Hey, welcome back, Han. Thank you. It was kind of fun showing the the Hindenburg still with an ambient noise of a Zeppelin, <laughs> which also has to be an in-game asset, right? Like even sound. Yeah, I would imagine that comes from the third one. Oh, yeah. Not so novel after all. <laughs> yeah, where the hell did they get that? Did oh, you... never mind. <laughs> oh, shit. Right, did you uh, forget that the Pridwin exists? <laughs> After seeing these Zeppelins, <laughs> yep. It's right out that damn window over there. <laughs> That's true. So come on, actually take me to the Achilles here. Would be nice. The Achilles? The Achilles. <laughs> C H I L L Y, I know what that spells. You're right, you're right. Well, this one seems like. You know, so far, this seems like the sister ship, if not. This is the same damn ship. No. This has got to be a sister ship to the Hercules. Or, it wasn't the Hercules, was Heracles. it? Heracles. Heracles, yeah. Heracles. I like that he's got the uh, actual um, yeah. Greek name for it. So, who was Agamemnon? Oh, that's my man. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Bye. I don't know. I recognize the name, but or rather, I've I've heard it before, but I'm not sure uh, which Greek mythology god or figure that 
Like I said, no, I'm pretty sure he was a an ancient king. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was. He was the king in um like uh you know, Helen of Troy. Agamemnon Agamemnon was was the king. Uh one of the kings. Ew. The Trojan king. I'm seeing him now in uh in the one movie they did. I know. Was it it wasn't 300, was it? No, it was actually that movie called Troy with, um... Oh, pretty boy, what was his name? I know what you're talking about. I think I think my wife and I watched that. It was, it was a while ago, though. That's, that's kind of an older movie. Late to the Fallout. You're right on time. Nah, he was a bro that wanted to take Helen back. That, that's what Late to the Fallout says. I'm not, I'm not getting this lift thing. Uh, Hi, how are you? Does he mean that to be shelves? And he's... I don't know. Can you activate it? I can, and then it says, then it says close. It's like you enter and close rather than open and close. That asset is enter the lift. Yeah, All right, I'm back. yeah. Agamemnon is a Greek king who attacked Troy. Like Troy, the guy that sometimes shows up here. No, not yeah. that one. He's a nice guy. Oh, okay. And definitely okay. not an ancient Greek. <laughs> okay, good. He sounds awful young. So yeah, I think you're right. But yeah, if that king hey, was out. attacking my Troy. We'd have words. Bloom was um, Paris. He was yeah. the, he was the little namby pamby brother. Yeah, he he's he's the one that was the reason why they all uh, ended up in war in the first place. And Banna was the brother. And then, um, God, what's his name? Uh, I can't remember who it was that played Agamemnon. Uh, was on the other side. Yes. No, Pitt wasn't Agamemnon. It was. Uh, Oh gosh, what's that old guy's name? Yeah, no, you had um Yeah, you had uh I want to say Achilles and that's not right. I'm sure it's not right. Um, actually I think it is. I think he played Achilles. As who Pip played. He's still pretty. Uh uh I can see where people get that idea from, but uh, Bloom just never did it for me. Oh, he did it for me. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Lee. Yeah, we, we could IMDB it. Agamemnon was played by Brian Cox, if anybody knows who he is. Nope. Uh, Grayson? I'm allergic to it. So I don't smoke it anyway. Me neither. <laughs> okay, handle pot. Yes. Hey, I gained a new subscriber. Fuck knows where from, but I gained a new subscriber. Well, there you go. See, that's what happens when you join my Discord. <laughs> it's not really I lose them you gain them funny how that works so well I lost like um, at the beginning of the week I lost like four subscribers huh what'd you say you definitely said something uh. <laughs> so, Where are you right now, Otto? What's the landscape? Um, I was kind of trying to figure that out as well, but yes. 
Unlike its sister ship, this ship doesn't give you, uh... Doesn't give you that side door that opened up. I cannot tell... Okay, for a second I thought this was Nuka World, but now that I'm seeing the water... No, this would not be Nuka World, right? No, there's not that much water out there. Just the Are one you, dam. Uh, oh, wait, yeah, it is. Darn. Here, look, look, uh, look out these windows. Oh, there it is. Boy, that did seem like a lot of water. Uh, damn. Perhaps it's areas okay. you cannot access? That yeah, could yeah, be. It's quite possible. I mean, you got that dam up the end, which you can't, you can't even walk along it. It's like you get like halfway across and then it's like, nope. Huh? Yeah, yep. Yeah, the barrier is here. That one always pissed me off. It's like, really? Why would you give me I half? I always wanted to um, use Conquest and make a little uh, settlement there. Yeah, that, that, that would be cool. cool. I understand that, that Conquest and, uh, and Nuka World don't get along well. Yeah, it's, it's not overly friendly. I'm trying to find what Late just mentioned. You mentioned the boxcar with the chairs. Oh, you mean down here? Kind of like that? It's very modern, if this is what you're referring to. You know, it's, uh, it's definitely unlike, unlike the old Zeppelins, but... And it makes me wonder, like, if you were a passenger sitting here, which apparently she cannot do, nope, um, <clears throat> do you not have a stateroom? Do you just gotta sleep there? I mean, is this third class or some shit? So I'm just trying to place Maybe the, Maybe it's just uh, day tripping. The that assets be, that uh, they've used for the windows. Yeah. You know, he could tilt them, right? So... But yeah, I don't know. I do recognize this little ceiling piece up here, in between the the walls and the uh, center lights. I'm glad you found us too, Late. I'm glad I found you. We've discovered Look, each other. That's the same texture that's in that glass floor. Yeah. The the oh, the, the, yeah, the ceiling. Yep. Well, I, I, we've searched the ship, so now it's... I think there's the Red Rose to check out. Um, I guess I want to get back to that hub airship. Uh, we'll, you can go this to one other has airships from any of them, from the looks of it. Yes. That's true, that's true. So I'm, I want to get to the Red Rose, the other fantasy one. But I, I haven't seen it. Because from what I believe, I don't know why I believe this, I think it's the most uh, luxurious. Either that or I just save that one for last and start moving to the uh, the historical ones. Which, yeah, maybe I'll do that. We've got the Hindenburg and the Akron in here. No, that's the Graf Zeppelin. Of course, if you've seen the Graf Zeppelin, you've seen the Hindenburg, so... <clears throat> let's let's do the Akron. Oh, the humanity! <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, indeed. This is the Age of Airships mod. Uh, available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. That still astounds me. Me the, too. The crap that he's done with the uh, yeah with with the in-game assets is just like holy cow. Yeah. Hey, hey Bubba. Bubba. Welcome, hey, welcome Bubba. to the stream, Helen. Welcome well, aboard. I'm, all right, I'm going to have a last cigarette, and then I have to go, because my nan did ring me just a minute ago. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, well, thanks for stopping by. Always appreciated. Are you pretty much uh, there all day? Uh, Probably. She's... Uh, she's going to court with my moron of an uncle. Ah, uh, gotcha. 
probably going to get thrown out because he's a moron. <laughs> well, I do hope that it works that works that way. Works in your favor. Well, at least if uh, yeah, if he um, gets thrown out, now I'll be home earlier, and then I can come home and do my uh, my voiceover earlier. So. Those are some giant ass sandbags. Yeah, I was I was just saying, you know, they're ballast, but yeah, definitely sandbags were used for that. Well, definitely good luck, Cat. Um, my family's been fighting it, Uncle. Well, I'm just saying good luck with it. My Mm. my family's been fighting problems with where my my grandpa decided to sell a house that my uncle's been squatting in for 25 years. Oh, and so they had to basically they had to basically get him out of it and send him on his merry way. Uh, that must have been fun. Uh, it was a it was a it was a long month and a half. Yeah. Have you been hanging with Dilly all day? Uh, my uncle's uh, he's fighting the Department of Work and Pensions because they keep refusing to pay him, and it's got to the point where it's like courts being uh, uh, involved and stuff but he turned around and said to Nan it's like right well um, yeah I've got psoriasis and I haven't had my hair cut so I'm not taking my hood down while I'm in the court on my hoodie <laughs> good luck with that <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, look how and that's why I call him a moron but yeah yeah, that's why I was calling him a moron, is because he's acting like a fucking moron. I, I like this little dresser uh, sleeping bag combo there. And the uh, the metal framework is scaffolding upside down. Oh yeah, yeah. it is. Yep. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, hey, I did this. I did this first. <laughs> just <laughs> this whole thing's a sham because I did that first. Oh damn! On the mini, the mini radio, they're jukebox. Uh huh. Uh huh. I knew he. Uh, Galero was watching my shit. No. <laughs> Nobody's watching my shit. But I'm watching your shit. That's true. That's, that's true. I wasn't very calling true, you a nobody. Right? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's very true. If he is immoral, then it's not acting. It's just state his of being. natural state of being. <laughs> <laughs> are those bombs ahead of you? I want to say those are probably. Uh, you know, they're either going to be helium tanks or. Uh, or ballast, or you know, water. Uh, actually, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. But that, I, I would submit that it's one or the other, water or uh, or helium. This entire mod is like spot the uh, spot the asset. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, just right, is. just right there. That big hanging thing is a. Uh... Um, oh golly, it's one of those uh, floats, one of the fishing floats. Where? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah it is. Just retextured. <laughs> oh man, this is cool. Um, I mean, I, you know, I'm... I think he did his homework on on the layout of the Akron. He certainly knows that it was an aircraft carrier. If he's going to be making it, he better damn do it right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I suppose if you know if you're going to make historical, you know his historical ones, then uh, you've got to put the time in to research it. <laughs> but I'm under the assumption that not everyone would. That somebody would be like, I'm just going to make. Whatever I want and call it the Akron. <laughs> Those people are out there somewhere. 
So how do I get to the control gondola? I'm, I'm assuming it's, it's at one end or the other. It's either before or after me. <laughs> Mr. Handy Fuels. So that that's your that's your helium, probably right. Those are big, uh, Mr. Handy Fuels. <laughs> yeah, they are. Corvega cars, old old school Corvega trucks, I should say. Didn't see the back there. Well, kind of like Model T's Doma. Yeah. I, I like that he added Corvega to the front there. Nice touch. Where did he get the in-game assets for that? I suppose it's just a lot of little things cobbled together. Hmm. I, I, I'm having a hard time even figuring out how that one works. Yeah, me too. Me too. I, I could see tires and spotlights, but other than that, I'm a little lost. Sorry, giggling at Grayson's comment there. Super mutant colonoscopy bags. That's not that's that's not good. <laughs> uh, no. You think I can fall out of here? They they're using them for uh, grenades. <laughs> the worst stink bombs known to exist. Not that I know they exist, but yeah. Hi, I'm new here. I'm looking for the gondola. Uh, more crew quarters. Those windows are not. No, they're not transparent. Okay. Yeah. I love this though. I mean, obviously, this was a navy vessel, so it uh, foregoes any luxury. Um, but I like the fact that he's got luxury and uh, and this just utility. Two rooms ago, I liked the uh, the folding cots on the wall. That was nice. Yeah, yeah. How he had some at different positions. Oh, I didn't even see these side rooms. Storage, I would presume. And honestly, you know, I was talking about the, the envelope on some of those other ships. Uh, a lot of the envelopes had little rooms, like like this one here. Um, cloth walls, you know, canvas walls, I should say. So I, I'm getting my fill of uh, utility quarters. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go. So right. have a great rest of the stream. Thanks, and man. I'll talk to you guys all again soon. Sounds Take care. Good. All right. Talk to you again soon. Bye. Have fun. I'm still looking at the uh, the textures. Do trying to figure out the kind of the. The top, top and bottom of the bunks, what the flat parts are, with the kind of girder thing on them. I'm trying to figure out what that is. So it looks, at close examination, it, it God, it looks cloth almost. I don't know where. You... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not so worried about the top texture so much as the actual shape of the thing, because the shape is, is the thing that. Where. Even if he's changed the color and the shape and the, or the size of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for all I know, that's a freaking piece of, I don't know, construction out there. You know, like a, a building or a... It's a billboard or something on its side. I could see that, yep. Yep, in terms of dimensions, I could definitely see that. I do like what he did with the scaffolding there. He, he's used that a lot. Well, frankly, it fits. 
No, is this the way I came? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, okay, so... So here we are at the bow. So Frank, I, honestly, I should be somewhere above the gondola now. I, I would definitely think that, that he would allow you to access that. Seeing as it's, uh, you know, obviously the pilot house is going to be a rather notable part of the ship. Well, I don't know how he would do that. I, I don't know how the acro was set up. It's got to be somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So yeah. maybe a trap door or a hatch or something. That's what I'm thinking. A floor hatch somewhere. And I must have missed. Well, here's the carrier yeah. bay. I would think that would be aft of the gondola. And hell, to be honest, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'm uh, at the nose of the ship up here or not. I thought I would. Oh, there we go. Hatch off to the side. That's got to be it. Good catch. He about, he about sped right past that one. Yeah. Hey, Forrest, welcome aboard. How the hell are you? Welcome, Forrest. Huh? Now, one thing I... I don't know. I kind of wish I could change the outfits. Especially with the historical ones. Not to say that this one's a player home. I'm yes. confident yeah. that it's not. Although yes. I did see a workbench upstairs. I don't know if it was just... Uh, there for cosmetics. Right now you're in the cockpit of a tugboat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he just doubled that up on both sides. Hi, how are you? Yeah. Very much gives the the, the authentic uh, gondola look, though. Oh, sure does. I wasn't knocking. I'm just uh, just calling out, call him as I see him. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm yes. totally with you. I... It's actually a fun little game to try to figure out where these assets came from. Hell yeah, Bubba. Huh? Get in some huh? fallout time. Honestly, I would imagine they would have some really good resources for the this kind of something uh, on the ink uh, uh, what called the Yang oh the Yangzi yeah I yeah, can imagine they've somewhere. got some good resources there yeah I would not be surprised if we see some some of that oh that's cool so this balance tank is from Far Harbor is it not it's where they're cooking the uh in the mire lurk. Well, it could be. Maybe uh, if we looked at the other side, maybe you could see it. I think he's kind of got it hidden. Oh, no, he doesn't. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he retextured it or did something. But uh, Are they maybe different vats from, like, uh, the brewery or something? They almost oh, look like that, uh, that mash did. tons. Yeah, yeah. So, I feel like we've seen the entire Akron now. Uh, I don't think the Akron had a rear gondola. It did have planes, of course. It, um, you can do a halo jump. <clears throat> I kind of am tempted to do that. And that's by clicking on the plane. And they did run tests, you know, launching and, and receiving planes. More than one, so I don't know how those tests went. I do know that the Akron had plenty of incidents before it ultimately crashed, but and it crashed into the ocean. Give yourself a, a quick save and then give it a try. Yeah, definitely. And when the Akron ultimately went down, I want to say it was the lack of life preservers that uh, did it. 
think three survivors out of maybe 70, 75 crew. Well, when you're talking about early flying vessels, the, the mortality rate was pretty high. Yeah, for, yeah. For failure. Now, a lot of, I think a lot of them died of, uh, well, drowning and hypothermia. Uh, obviously drowning if you don't have the life preservers in there. I think they want, they had a, uh, they had a lifeboat, but they were unable to deploy it. And if memory serves, I think the captain was one of the three survivors, which is kind of weird, <laughs> but kind of makes you question. Oh, good. <laughs> Landed in the water. Yeah, it's just got the forward. No, it does have a rear gondola. Well, stupid me. I did not know that. Ah, uh, thanks, Forrest. He was bored until he noticed I was streaming. Autumn is the... Uh, Autumn, oh my gosh. Otto is the bomb. If I could not put those two words together, that'd be great. Was that B-U-M or B-O-M-B? Bomba. Okay, okay, good, good. I should remember. If you have a life load. Well, I think she's calling you old. I think she is, too. I can't remember. I know what they say about memory. Gray says that if you have a lifeboat that you are unable to deploy, you do not have a lifeboat. That might be accurate. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. And uh, the Akron had a sister ship, the Macon, and um, God, I almost hate to say shit for fear that I'll be wrong, but I I, I am a little obsessed with Zeppelin, so. I should be more confident than I'm acting. Oh. So when the Macon crashed, I think by that time they were like, okay, everybody needs life preservers, <laughs> right? Because if you're in an airship that's going down, you know, the captain's going to want to steer toward water. And uh, just kind of makes sense. And so when the Macon went down, similar crew size, right? So, what, 70-some crew members. I think the numbers are kind of um, opposite, like only... Three died, and the other 70 survived. I may be off by a few numbers, but... But the, the point stands, right? That you just kind of switch the numbers, and that makes it easier to remember. This is weird, too, looking up at the sky, and just seeing zeppelins everywhere you look. Yeah, there are a lot. I think that's kind of one of the lore breaking. I don't know, I've certainly the whole thing is is rather lore breaking. But like I was talking to Gary about it last night, and he, you know he he, what, he did point out that dirigibles would be one of the easier methods of flight, and perhaps that's why the Brotherhood uses them. Um, but this is a hell of an advancement to have this many floating around without any raiders or gunners deciding to fire a cannon at him. Oh, yeah, like the nuke is going to drop one of these in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, right? Quad barrel missile launcher. That's so true. Well, that'll take us back aboard the Acker. Your life is... <laughs> yes. And that's a shame. I don't think the Akron or Macon had airline seats. Damn. Um, I usually stream until about 3 in the morning and I'm on Eastern Time. I'll probably go a half an hour later because I started a half an hour late. Uh, but we'll see. You know, honestly, uh, Elgato or YouTube may have different ideas. Sometimes that's the case. Uh, 
Uh, no point looking at the other gondola because really it's, it's going to be a mirror of the first one without the wheel. Well, we've got the Graf Zeppelin. Got the Achilles. Oh, another thing about the Akron, and this is kind of crazy because you can watch this on YouTube. One of the times that the Akron took off from Fort Kearney, maybe, or Camp Kearney, <clears throat> it's it's taken off and uh, something went wrong. It took off too early, and I don't remember the details of it, but I don't know if it was just it got too much lift anyways is the point. And three of the people, four of the people actually holding the ropes didn't let go. One of them let go like 15 feet, 15 meters in the air. <clears throat> and he, certainly he was injured. And two more, well, three more held on. And that thing, it was taken off. And uh, so, yeah, you can actually see the video of this. It's kind of a morbid video to watch. But three of these guys hold on to the line. And this thing is just going higher and higher. And two of them lose their grip. I want to say they pulled the other guy aboard. That, that's kind of crazy. Old, old newsreel footage of <clears throat> Yeah, I'm with you, Late. It's, it's not. Okay, so this is going to be the Graf Zeppelin. I meant to go to the Hindenburg first because there are sister ships and the Hindenburg had less compartments. So I think the Graf Zeppelin is going to be very similar, but slightly larger compartments. Um, I'm trying to recall why that was the case. There was a practical reason. No, I th well, I think I know what it is. I think they intended... Initially, they both have the, the same in terms of passenger and crew compartments. Um, God, I could be wrong about all this. This does not look like the Hindenburg at all. Well, shit. I think we froze up, too. Well, that's going to happen with new mods until I figure out where it really belongs in the load order. Yeah, that can be a little tricky. But it's it's it comes to places that add locations. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, no, you're 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 right. Uh, place uh, mods that add locations for sure. I'm just never never quite clear. I just kind of guess and then crash a lot. Hold on a second. Let me let me pull up my mod order. Right on. I only have the one that actually adds something, but it's in there somewhere. Let me see where it's at. <laughs> I'd rather use my trousers to make a flotation device I can trust. <laughs> especially if it's a, you're especially gassy. I mean, you just load those trousers up and... Uh... Be good. I mean, this is just theory. I've not, not put this into practice, but... <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm trying to recall why... You know what? I... I'm almost tempted to look up if the Hindenburg and the Graf Zeppelin were sister ships. But I don't have my phone handy. But it almost doesn't matter. My point was that when the Hindenburg and its sister ship were built, there was this idea that they were going to use helium. Right, and the Americans had the uh, they had the lion's share of helium, so the Germans couldn't really practically use helium. They had to use hydrogen, hence the explosion. Right, um, but hydrogen has more lift, 
So hi, you know, if you if you're using hydrogen, you can put more compartments, more quarters. You can you can add a lot more weight to that airship, and certainly have a larger airship. But then they found out that the Americans weren't going to play ball with it. We had put an embargo on it. Uh, no no helium for the Germans, right? So once they realized that, you know, at some point, obviously the The Hindenburg blows up, and <clears throat> then they decided, either slightly before that or after that, they decided, well, we're not going to be using helium after all. We're stuck with hydrogen, so now we have the the freedom to add much more to this uh, to this Zeppelin. That's the crux of it. Ah. That could work. Although I am partial to to hot gas trousers. I wonder if that would have any lift. Sometimes my gas is more potent than than both helium and hydrogen. Fun fact. It's not fun, but it's it's a fact. Well, I'm going to guess that those ones that you're letting out are particularly warm, and hot air does rise. So. Yep. I wonder how many compartments I could add. Well, I'm I'm guessing you can at least clear one compartment, but. <laughs> yes, that's true. That is a fact. My father is one of the uh, nastiest gassers I've ever known in my life. Really? And there are days where he is he is shameless about it. We were um, we were in Utah back in February, and um, we we were at this bar, and we're we're all just sitting there at the bar, and suddenly it's like, what the hell is? It's like, damn it, what did you do? And next thing you know, the ladies behind the behind the counter are working. They're like, what is that horrible smell? It's like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. I hate to throw him under the bus, but my father in law is uh, much the same. Shameless, I'm telling you. Uh huh. Okay, so I tried to board the Graf Zeppelin again and it crashed. Something tells me not to even try to board the Graf Zeppelin. Well, I would go for the Rose one. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'll look for the rose. Uh, still got the Hindenburg. I think there's now, as far one. as far as that question you asked about 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 what? I'm sorry, load order for the mods. I didn't realize yeah. my mic had cut out. Um, I've got ones that modify settlements. And then ones that modify kind of the world around it, and uh, you know, like my my uh, shop rugs and things like that that go into the settlements. And then after that, I've got a few things that modify the world, like uh, water textures and lighting and things like that. And then I've got it directly after all those before okay. I get to uh, other things that go into. Uh, modifying the the workbenches. Oh wait, wait. So my last save is actually aboard the Graf Zeppelin. I'll try to just jump right into it from the. And that may may make the difference. I don't know. If it doesn't work, there. Nah. Apologies. I figure well, we might as well give it a third try. <laughs> We've still got a load screen, so if you're going to show us something, keep that in mind. Yes, good call. Yep, you're looking at the. What are you? I'm trying to remember which one that was. I knew when I stole the picture. Oh, the Shenandoah, the USS Shenandoah. It, 
<laughs> so many of these damn things crashed, of course. <laughs> that one crashed over Ohio. Because uh, Ohio had a few Zeppelin hangers, but that one was a particularly violent crash. And w I think it split. It ended up breaking in half. And when it did, it, um, one of the gondolas fell. No, that's what it was. One of the engines broke loose. And I actually believe that was before the thing split in half. But the thing is, they had these these lines, right, that went from the engines to the, the control gondola where all the officers were. And that thing was so damn strong that when the engine fell, it just tugged on that line to the point where it broke the gondola loose. And the ship kept flying with whatever crew was up in the big envelope, but the control car plummeted to the ground with all officers on board and obviously all the controls on board. So there's nothing these dudes can do at this point. They're just stuck in that dam. Uh, well, at that point, just a big uncontrollable floating balloon of helium. There's nothing that... There's no way to let the gases out there was no kind of release system that you know i think there was i think there I mean, was i wonder that makes me wonder how violent it was you know it was a storm or something that ripped off that that engine um that outboard engine so it makes me wonder how violently the thing was churning about because, yeah, I'm sure they could release gas and just bring her down slowly. But maybe if the thing was, you know what I'm saying, if it was, you know, banking all over the place. and I could see that interfering, you know, to where they, they wouldn't be able to. Or I'm going to have to look that up because I, I think that envelope floated for a while. It did ultimately break in half, but I don't know when. Um, well, yeah, you're absolutely right. You'd be able to let go of some of the helium. I know next to nothing about Zeppelins that I haven't seen in movies. <laughs> well, it's like Indiana Jones and oh yeah, uh, the Rocketeer and. Um, I mean, you know, I mean, no ticket, right? <laughs> yep, yep. I forgot about that. The end of the Rocketeer. There's a big Zeppelin. A fight on top of a Zeppelin or something like that. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen that movie. No ticket. That's hilarious. <laughs> and when they're... <laughs> when they're flying in that fighter... Sean Connery says, I think we've been hit. I'm afraid we've been hit. So how goes the load screen? It's, well, I tried to load it up again. It crashed again before it even gave us a visual. Now we're we're again loading up, just essentially looking at a death call and the loading screen. Here we go. Well, if nothing else, we're back aboard the Akron. I know better than to try to board the Graf Zeppelin. Um, I'm even a little hesitant about trying to board the Hindenburg, knowing that it was a sister ship, but... Huh? I'm starting to think that it's just, you know, that it's not the load order, it's the mod itself. Um, I don't know, I, I'll go ahead and report this to the mod author, that way he's at least aware of it. Uh, and in the meantime, yeah, we'll... No, not the Graf Zeppelin. What I need to do is, is go back to that first one. Yeah, there it is. Because that'll put us aboard the Red Rose. Agamemnon. Agamemnon. You see, I, I, can't, I can't even say that word. Agamemnon. Agamemnon. 
the Fallout 4 crash? No, never. What? <laughs> yeah, Grayson. The first part of your comment, I was kind of terrified, but <laughs> pull my finger apart. <laughs> it's... I can't imagine if they could get around. You know, somebody's got to contact the the, the pilot, uh, the the control car. I wonder if any of them made their way to the hatch and opened it up. Or if, or if maybe just upon approaching it, you already realize that the control car is gone. <laughs> but for some reason, I have this sick image of somebody opening up the control hatch to, yeah. to shout down to the control car and like, Oh, never mind. Um, I think the officers are aware of our problem. <laughs> um, although, to be honest, they probably had telephones or some shit. And if those cords were strong, the phone just sucked out the bottom of the envelope. Okay, from here we can board the Red Rose. I hope that one doesn't crash. Uh, Bubba is asking, isn't this a huge mod? Weren't you saying earlier it was not a huge mod? Nine megabytes. Nine megabytes. Which is nuts to me. I mean, because not only is it the Zeppelins, but it comes with three missions. This one at the uh, Mirtha Airport, another yes. one where you steal a, uh, like a World War I dreadnought, you know, like a seafaring ship. And another one where... Uh, what is the third one? It's like uh, World War I Russia or something like that, a uh, battlefield. <clears throat> So it's, it's a lot of content, but <laughs> remarkably small mod in terms of memory. No, not the Graf Zeppelin. As much as I wanted to, I was just about to board the Red Rose. I, I, I think I want to see out the, see through the, the his, historical ship. So <clears throat> we're going to roll the dice and try to board the Hindenburg. Fingers crossed. How do I activate the swastikas? I know the mod author said you could do that. Do you need a quick save before you get carried away? Yeah, good call. Since this is where you want to be. Good call indeed. I'm not sure how to get the... Uh, I know you can activate the... I think the swastika is on the Olympic symbol on the Hindenburg. <clears throat> Nine plus megabytes is huge for us, huh? <clears throat> I think I've I've still got Is it really? I I don't know. You, you don't have much at... much space left, do you, Bubba? I'm looking at mine and it says my free space is eight hundred and seventy four megs, so Yeah, I think I've got like five, six hundred. Okay, now I'm going to go way into dwarf mode because I this is stupid, but I've actually tried to build the Hindenburg in Minecraft. <laughs> um, how cute, right? So I've looked at the, uh, at the, the plans for the Hindenburg. So I know where I'm at, which is kind of cool. Uh, this room that would take us back aboard that ag... Uh, Menon. Damn it, I'll get it one of these days. This would really take you into the envelope, so apparently you cannot go in there. Um, these are all going to be passenger quarters. No, 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 I'm in the crew area. That's right. That leads you to passenger areas, and it's a little like, not an airlock, but you get my drift of a little compartment that, you know, but before we go out there, let's check out the rest of this, uh, little crew area here it's gonna be dining no the kitchen close enough Otto 
the crew mess. Boy, this is actually fairly nice for just for just the normal crew. Because there's an officer's mess as well. In fact, that should be really close. Other side of the kitchen, maybe? And one, like, young kid that survived the Hindenburg. Like, a lot of the people in this part of the ship were killed, but there was one kid here in the kitchen that miraculously survived because when the thing blew up, it severed a ballast tank above him, like in the envelope, and the water from that ballast tank basically poured down on him. He, he was one of the few people that got off the Hindenburg that uh, was soaking wet and he didn't know why he was soaking wet, but later they looked at the floor plans and realized that he had these big-ass ballast tanks up above him. And so certainly that helped him not get burned to death. Um, yeah, where are the officers' quarters? Because obviously most of the survivors were looking out the windows down at Lakehurst. And so, you, see, you know, you're right there by the windows... Um, the thing went up in, what, like 50, 60 seconds? I mean, I mean, I'm sure you've seen the footage. It's pretty damn quick. So you didn't have a lot of time. But obviously, if you're already looking out the windows at the people on the ground, you're in an advantageous position to, to just jump. Is this officer's mess? Yeah. And what would this would lead you back into the other end of the envelope, but nope, it leads you to the R100, another Zeppelin. So we will not be going there yet. All right, good night, Forrest. And uh, the truth is, Otto, I think I need to be scooting myself, friend. All righty. Well, thanks for coming by, Javik. Much appreciated. Sorry I called you Cat on the outset. On the onset. Uh that's okay. I wish I had. My, I wish I had such a nice rack. And a fat ass, according to her. I, you're the one that said I said it, so I might as well say. It. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Have have a pleasant evening and a good day tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your out mod here. Enjoy the tour of the Hindenburg. Will do. Thank you. Not everybody. Everyone say good night, Jabig. I'm sure you did. I'm sure everyone did. So let's see, folks. 2.30. Got about an hour left in me. Of course, that was JPEG Death, who's got a channel as well. But you know that. And so too did Sushi Cat. Or does Sushi Cat. A total of 2 and 100. Really? That, that sucks, Bubba. Just read your uh, comment up above the farewells. And good night, Forrest. Forrest, thanks for stopping by again. Much appreciated. It's, it's good to see you. Ah, uh, here's the bar. The bar and lounge. So the smoker's lounge was attached to this. I'm sure, I'm sure he's got it should be oh there it is and yes as i stated earlier it should be pressurized and indeed this is pressurized so that's cool yeah and in yeah. fact it was a blue room yeah. Did have the giant map there. But you know, honestly, when I was looking at the floor plans for the Hindenburg, that was my first uh, realization that they would yes. allow smoking yeah. uh, aboard a Zeppelin that contained yes. hydrogen gas. But, I mean, you could you could smoke on a Zeppelin that was that got its lift from helium. You'd smoke all day long. You probably shouldn't get too careless with that, but. With hydrogen, it's just kind of surprising, obviously. 
Um, just seeing how much more flammable it is. Yeah. But hence the pressurized room. Obviously, always kept that door shut. Restrooms here. Yeah. Nothing fancy, just... Obviously, that's going to be much the same. Yep. And these stairs would lead, like... <clears throat> the, you know, basically down to the ground. The thing would open up. You'd walk down there, and there'd be another flight of stairs. Uh, which they don't really have. Oh, actually, that leads you to Nuka World, so we're not going to go down there. But yeah, that's how passengers would board the Zeppelin. In fact, I think there is a recreation of this, of, you know, just the passenger areas of the Hindenburg in Germany. Because uh, I've seen a tour of it on, on YouTube, and it's fairly cool. I mean, honestly, as you can see, there's not much to it. It's just these two floors. Ah, yes, the Piano Lounge. Movies about the Hindenburg always center around this area yeah I yeah. think there's a reading area back here yes there is yes right Bubba <laughs> that's uh <clears throat> I would say and people wonder why it blew up but honestly no <laughs> it was since it was a pressurized compartment that that probably wasn't the case but there's been speculation from everything from you know a, a crewman dropping a wrench and a spark lit, led to it to uh, a crewman lighting up in the envelope but why would he you know what I mean it just that doesn't make any sense to me because uh, he would know damn well yes that, and I also have a hard time believing that a spark just a little spark from a, a wrench hitting metal yeah. would do it all of this is it goes with the the premise that the one of the gas bags was already severed you know so gas would be just filling up the envelope itself um, and that of course people say there was a saboteur I don't know if I believe that other people say it was static from the uh, <clears throat> from the storm I do believe that. That that's that's the group I fall into. Is, <clears throat> excuse me. Is that you, you get this flow of uh, kind of static electricity going through the actual ship because the thing blows up as soon as its tethering cords hit the ground, the wet ground. Um, <clears throat> so some people look at that and say, well, shit. As soon as those things hit the ground thing blows up uh, and there's a lot of people that could attest to the fact that they'd be flying in a zeppelin and you'd see electricity like going across the windows and stuff uh, when you were close to a storm or obviously in a storm and so that isn't a surprise either it's just once you, you know just like anything else once you have some connection between that carrying all that energy in the ground, in this case, the tethering wire, tethering ropes. Uh, I don't know. I think that puts credence in the idea. And this is just going to be a dining lounge, yeah, dining room. <laughs> what could go wrong, right? Certainly not with hydrogen. So yeah, knowing, knowing what I know about the Hindenburg, I, I'm extremely impressed with what this guy did, using in-game assets to recreate the passenger areas in the Hindenburg, and, and the little crew area too. Just, uh, yeah, damn good work on his part. Passengers look a little dirty, looks like they survived the wreck and somehow got aboard again, and the ship's repaired. Oh, enable disable daylight. 
How about that? Well, I swear it was just daylight out. And I swear I hit A. Yeah, okay, so apparently that doesn't really work. Now, in truth, yeah, I was just about to say, in truth, this was like woodwork, like a little woodwork area. Uh, some fine wood, I don't know what kind, and it did have a bust of Hindenburg. But the mod author was aware of that. While it's not wood, he does have the bust. One of only two Hindenburg-class rigid airships, Hindenburg was the second biggest flying object in the world, built in the Third Reich in 1936. It took part in the Nazi Germany Olympics, explains the logo on the ship, the Olympic logo. Uh, it served for only two seasons. I was wrong earlier when I said three. Uh, before its tragic catastrophe in New Jersey, during its career, it transported over uh, 2,798 passengers and 160 tons of cargo. By the time the Hindenburg was created, the airship industry was already obsolete. Yeah, not in Germany, really. I mean, but in the States it was, for sure. Uh, commercial planes made transatlantic flights charging but a fraction of the Hindenburg's price. After the catastrophe, Deutsch Luftschimbau Zeppelin built one last airship, the LZ-130 Graf Zeppelin, also known as the Hindenburg II. So yeah, that was uh, the sister ship. I don't know why I started second-guessing myself there. Um, served between 37 and 40 before being decommissioned by Hermann Goring. Size-wise, it was the same, but could carry more passengers with a bigger passenger compartment. That's just because it had a bigger passenger compartment. Because ultimately, uh, both of them had the same amount of lift, I think. Yeah, that's true. Oxygen is flammable, too. So I think we've pretty much seen it, because all of this stuff is passenger cabins, which are all going to look the same. Uh, you got your sink and your mirror, and having a sink in your cabin was kind of a luxury. Um, but, I, you know, it's not very luxurious. I know I, I briefly took issue with the fact that he said, uh, you know, Zeppelins were obsolete by the time that the Hindenburg crashed. Um, it's just the fact that he went on to say that the Graf Zeppelin, you know, was going into service. It's just, yeah. I'm not saying that he's undermining his own comment there, but... I think you get what I'm saying, but certainly he's, he's, he's wise to point out that, you know, heavier than air flight is yeah. already in existence and was, was definitely uh, proving the dirigible to be slow and uh, expensive. But in terms of luxury, you know, which way are you going to go? Get a seat on a plane, or if you got the time, this is kind of like a cruise in the sky, and a lot of people that really did admired the Zeppelins. I mean, they, they talked about what a smooth flight it was. Um, unless, of course, the Zeppelin got ripped in half or blew up or hit the ocean. P prior to that happening, it was very smooth. Maybe not immediately prior, because before you hit the ocean, there's some strong winds taking you down. It's probably kind of violent. So let's try the R-100. Yeah, exactly, Bobo. Nacho business. How the hell are ya? Oh, much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. I, I thank you for taking the time, and I also thank you for leaving the like. It's a memento. Just to show you we're here. But yeah, man, I hope you have an excellent evening. Sleep well? I say sleep well. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm making the assumption you're from the States. Well, your, your lack of accent, kind of. Or your American accent, kind of. Tips me off to that, but. So this is the R100.
and I'm trying to remember some details about this ship. Is this... I don't know if anybody's got their browser open. I'm going to have to look this up myself, but... I am going to hazard a guess. The R-100 was a real Zeppelin, and I think it's the one that... I think it was German or British. Maybe it was British... God, but flying somewhere over the desert started going down. Somebody took the controls and uh, they were going to put it down easy. And what sucks is this may not even be the R100 that I'm thinking of. Um, but for all appearances, uh, a seemingly smooth landing. But then when it when it did finally hit the uh, the desert floor. It blew up. So, uh, if that's the one I'm thinking of, it, it kind of surprised everyone involved that survived, that was aware of what was happening, you know, crew member wise, because they thought, okay, we're going to make it. This landing looks good. And then, kaboom. Well, uh, really, fire and then kaboom. I got a. I will take one more break, and when I do, I'm going to grab my phone, because uh, I don't want to be wrong about that, and I kind of want to know which, which Zeppelin that was that, that seemingly came down smoothly and then blew up anyways. It is pretty. I would definitely say that. It's got a massage room. Let me in. Yeah, there's the oils. Nice. Nice. <laughs> yes. Gets you a massage aboard the R100. Watch. It's a fantasy ship. A uh, music room. See, now this one is just flat out, please, no smoking. Uh, you might be able to smoke on that there Hindenburg, but uh, not here. Not here. Oh, that's awesome. I did not really expect that to open. I just thought I'd be, uh... Yeah, I like that. What? That is a... Uh... That is a mixer for Nuka Cola. Well, color me impressed and mildly turned on. I like that. I like that a lot. Damn, damn. I, I am really curious if this is based on a. Well, especially if it's based on the one I was referring to. Storage, of course. Uh, what are those? Cigars and cigar cases. I think that's the first time I've seen a cigar case in Fallout. Unless I, I've seen them and just overlooked it. That'll take you to Nuka World. The uh, little bartender's area or the kitchen, in fact. What am I calling it a kitchen for? Wouldn't it be a. Uh... Come on, why is my why is my mind playing tricks on me? It's not a mess. Oh well, moving right along. I don't know if that's safe. Did, did that say armory? Weapons, okay. Maybe this was not a historical ship. Maybe I'm getting it confused with something else. Because no, there would not be a weapons room. Yeah, chemistry room, yeah. I don't think so.
Alright, let's switch floors. Well, okay, that says R100. We're already aboard the R100. Galley! Thank you, Grayson. Jesus Christ. What the hell is wrong with me? I agree, Grayson. It's... Yeah, it's it's fun to do these little tours, but after that, I don't see any. I don't see any application, you know, even even to the extent like, uh, you've been around for a while, you know, I try to do like role play stories. I don't see how this would fit into that. Um, as much as I'd like to make it work for one, it just it it really wouldn't. It'd be stretching too far. Damn near pull my arm out of the socket trying to reach that far to, to bring in all these zeppelins. So, so in a sense, that's kind of a shame. And I, uh, I almost wish there there was a way to turn off some of the zeppelins. Like if it were one of them, maybe I could explain that. Certainly, the United States has its share of helium. Certainly, the Brotherhood has already proven that a dirigible works and somehow a metal one, right? Which is different, but then again, this whole thing's fantasy, so. Um, but to have them all over the Commonwealth, I, I just can't believe it. Like, like you were, I think it was you, or somebody said that, you know, the super mutants running around on the ground, I don't think so. That leads straight to Nuka World, so that's gonna put us on the ground. This is the other end. I do like that they're letting us go to the envelope here. Seems like uh, there are some gaps. Not that it matters. The, the actual envelope obviously didn't contain the gas. It would be that yellow part up there that contained the gas. Still, that's that's a lot of holes. That I mean, just for psychological purposes, as your crew is walking around, <laughs> I would not like seeing the ground. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think you know if the R100 was a real historical ship. I, I can't imagine they had power armor. Maybe they did. Maybe just the, all those secrets went down with the ship. Can we walk on this shit? Yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. Not the safest thing to do. So that's the R100. And having knocked that out of the way, I am going to, uh, momentarily here... Actually, I, I, I would like to find the, uh, control room, the pilot, gondola. And if I don't find it here in the next five minutes, uh, screw it. I'll take my break anyways. I mean, it is not there. Because that says Nuka World, so I'm not going to be tricked and end up in Nuka World. We already tried down there. God, that's got to be it, right? hell we're about to find out oh there's nothing under it but wood yeah it's gonna put us on the ground that did not take us to the gondola oh well this will be this character's first visit to nuka world really she's just gonna jump back up on that zeppelin and find her way to another one for me, I'm, I'm going to go hit a cigarette a little bit. Just a couple puffs and then I'll be right back. Maybe swing by the restroom as well. See what's happening in there. So yeah, folks, I will be back momentarily. Uh, if you can stick around, I'll see you on the other side. If you gotta go, please have a pleasant evening. Either way... I will be right back.
Okay, we are back with, uh, with the princess here. <clears throat> Aboard the R100, and I seized my phone. So I'm gonna Google this shit real quick. Let's see if the R100 was indeed a British airship. that crashed in the desert. R100 airship pictures. Well, yeah, it was an airship. Don't think it had power armor aboard it, but it was an airship. His Majesty's Airship R-100, known simply as R-100, was privately designed and uh, built, was a privately designed and built British rigid airship, made as part of the two-ship competition to develop commercial airship service for use, uh, obviously, by, uh, I lost it because I clicked on the link, did it crash in the desert? Shit, I, I don't even see that it crashed. <clears throat> Let's see. <laughs> yep, it sure as hell did. Yeah, and I, I honestly do think it was the one that I had described. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm not going to look all that shit up. We'll continue exploring because I am pressed for time, but uh, I'm pretty sure it was the airship that I would mentioned that uh, for some reason was losing lift. And when it finally hit the ground, it... It blew up, even though by most accounts it hit the ground at like less than a you know, less than ten mile hour uh, descent or whatever. But when you're dealing with uh, lighter than air flight, I guess even that slow descent could do you in. But how do we get aboard a different airship from this one? Because that seems to be a common theme with these, right? Pretty sure I saw little models around. So maybe the layout was the same as as what we're seeing, but certainly the rooms. Uh, you know, these were these were probably all quarters, not not necessarily a, a chemistry lab. And, uh, you know, okay, maybe a laundry, but uh, not not a uh, armory or anything like that. It's pretty, though. Um, so this is going to be the Akron, right? Yeah, already been there. Heracles already saw that. The Achilles already saw that. Sister ship to the Heracles. Fantasy ships, of course. The Graf Zeppelin. We seem to crash every time we try to board that, so... So that's a no. Um, what was this one? That's our main one. I think that's it. Yeah, let's go back to uh, go back to this one. That way we can access the red roads. <laughs> that's a good lesson. Grayson says, "Lesson of the day, children: balloons bigger than you are to be avoided." So true. And if that thing if that thing starts to elevate super quick and you're holding on to it. Let go. Let go. Let go early. Take a lesson from those, those, uh, those seamen that were holding on to the tethering ropes on the acker. I mean, God rest their souls. But, but damn, why didn't they let go? Okay. So now we're looking for the Red Rose, which I think is our final airship. 
short of the Graf Zeppelin, which again is going to be quite similar to the Hindenburg anyways, just with uh, more, more compartments. And then the other thing that I, I guess I haven't shown is these missions, which I want to if we have the time, but I don't know that we will. Um, come on, Red Rose, where were you? There she is. So I believe this to be the most luxurious of them, and this is a, a fantasy ship, not based in history, but let's hope it doesn't crash. It's kind of funny. Zeppelins crash so seemingly so often, and uh, the game crashes seemingly so often. It's uh, certainly a similarity between the two. To be quite honest, sometimes it crashes and burns. The game. You'll know, pardon me, I'm, I'm having had a Pepsi. Got some Chocodiles today. Is anybody familiar with those? Those are chocolate-covered Twinkies. That'll kill you, but it's a good time until you do get killed. <clears throat> Again, another similarity with the Zeppelin. It's a good time, and then you die. Kind of a metaphor for life. It's a weird room to spawn us in. Let's see what we're dealing with here. I kind of hope this is not a sister ship to anything. Because um, as realistic as that is, it's kind of... Disappointing. It's almost as disappointing as rear utility areas being being inaccessible. So here's the parlor suite, the parlor. Oh damn. This is this is nice. Can't sleep in it, but it's nice nonetheless. What are we flying over? Well, we're in the Commonwealth, that's for sure. And I can't quite tell, and it doesn't help that nightfall is upon us. Fudge-covered Twinkies. Indeed. Precision indeed. I watch this show called, uh, Timeless. Maybe you're familiar with it, maybe not. It's... it's the modern day quantum leap. <laughs> um, but these folks travel through time, and at one point, uh, they're tied to stakes, about to be killed by uh, uh, Native Americans. And one of them says, I, I wish I had a chocodile. Uh, the one next to him turns to him and says, uh, What's a chocodile? Would that help? And he's like, no, 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 but it's a chocolate-covered Twinkie. They're, they're delicious. I'd like one more before I die. And that, that was honestly the first I had heard of. And I turned to my wife, and I was like, we, we need chocodiles. Because that would help. In any occasion, I think that would help. You know, you're bribing somebody. You're, you're trying to, I don't know. Maybe there's cannibals, right? If you had a chocodile, you offer that. Cannibalism is out the door. Now forget that when you can have a chocolate-covered Twinkie. I am not a chocolate-covered Twinkie, so I would think the genuine article would be uh, preferable. This doesn't look right. <clears throat> Go downstairs. Oh, this is pretty. Nice little dining room. Yeah. I mean, even the little decorations this guy's got on the, uh... Like, that's Bloodleaf. Looks like Bloodleaf hors d'oeuvres. Uh, mix Bloodleaf and Hubflower and you get yourself high. Just saying. Just saying. Huh? Got another yes. grand piano. Yeah. Beautiful. Frontal. <laughs> Frontal. For some reason, I read the word frontal while I think of his lobotomy. But, inaccessible utility area. 
My sister loves them. She almost had a conniption. That's a word that's used too, too rarely. Uh, when they stop making them for a year, I know what you're talking about. That must have been just recently. Yeah. Because my wife asked about, asked after them, and I, I think she was at Kroger or K Raj, and they said, "Oh no, they stopped making them." And then they came back. Boy, this is a tight squeeze. Yeah. And when they came back, either that or was it, that was when Hostess, uh, you know, maybe maybe the wife was misinformed, but that wasn't too long ago. Certainly, Hostess went out of business there briefly because their their unions ended them. It's a great thing about unions. You know, they serve a purpose initially, and then they get too strong, and they actually shut down the mouths that feed them, the hands that feed them. Yeah. I'm not saying that happens every time, and I don't want to get into politics, but didn't I just go down? To... Okay, you know, this is this huh? a different room. Yes. So I guess there's yet another level beyond this one. This must be the reading room. It's my guess. <clears throat> God, this is gorgeous. Yeah. I, I just I love these little details. Definitely commend the mod author. Yeah. There's the bar. I yes. do wish the uniforms. I you know I wish there were uniforms basically. I I prefer that to the doctor or to the uh yeah doctor dash bartender doctor slash bartender. Let's take a look back here. Uh, you know passenger quarters, right? These are nice. These are very nice. Excellent accommodations. Hey, but they don't have a sink. Oh yeah, they do. Shit. They've even got that on the Hindenburg. Same deal? No, no, these are showers. So let me see if I miss something along the way. Okay. Slightly more modest accommodations there. Like how he did the little desk thing. So at some point, uh, it goes from like first class to to second class. Pressurized smoking lounge. I love that he added the word pressurized. Um, he didn't for that for that one Zeppelin. I don't recall which, but uh, if you recall, if you were here at the time, I that that raised questions for me. But this is pressurized. Well, not if the door is open. Not if the door is open. And now that I think about it, he had the pressurized smoking uh, uh, lounge on the Hindenburg, and in truth, that had a little airlock area. You know, so there were two doors. Obviously, you, you would have to have that. You, you would have to have it here too. Not one door would not suffice. That would defeat the purpose. But I'm willing to forgive that because this this guy just went above and beyond. In creating this mod, okay, so we're down here in the gondola now. This is a fancy one. Hi, how are you? Let's see if this enable disable daylight works. Yeah, that one actually works. Well, I, I do prefer nighttime. It's the right time to fight crime. Sorry, I have a child, so yes, I just I just quoted uh, 
Shit, yeah. what, what the hell is that? PJ yeah. Mask. Yeah. Well, I like the Red Rose. Very nice ship you got here. And we got the Silver Shroud, Dash Captain, Slash Captain, and uh, his Corsair. Yeah. Corsair officers. And, yeah, I, I do yeah. wish there was a little more standardization with yeah. the uniforms. Honestly, I, I kind of wish you could just port in uh, some naval style uniforms. But whatever. It doesn't kill it for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back and, uh, I guess, since I still have, uh, 15, 20 minutes or so, I'll try one of these missions. Let's see, does she have a weapon? Yeah, she does. So let's see, I'm looking for Zeppelin models. Maybe those are up another flight. Yeah. Yeah, that that would have worked. Especially so, you know, if he can retexture stuff, you think he could have retextured the uh, the uniforms, and maybe he will. I I don't know. Um, yeah. But but yeah, that would that would just kind of help with the immersion. Honestly, I've often thought that if you just took took one of the double-breasted suits, add add some stripes on the cuffs, um, maybe some shoulder boards, you'd you'd be good, good to go. And who knows, maybe maybe there was such a mod already exists that gives you kind of uh, navy uniforms, but I haven't noticed one. Not that I've really searched for one either, but And it almost wouldn't matter, because I don't think I can I can yeah, I can't trade with these people at all, can I? Yes. She says yes, but she's a lying cunt because I can't. <clears throat> so Please pardon my French. I speak French fluently, but though not at all. Uh, where are these models? I'm getting antsy in the fancy. Come on. Ah, oh, there they are. There they are. And that's the one we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, that's just it. He did put so much detail into this. It just it just doesn't seem like too difficult of that of an extra step. I do like this floor thing and God that lounge aboard this ship. I mean frankly, uh you know all that talk of uh, the Red Rose being the fanciest. No, I I think we're aboard the fanciest ship, especially this room. Is it down here? No, no, no. There's a flight of stairs up. Sorry about all the jerky head movements here. It's because I'm a jerk. But we'll head upstairs. Cause I, I gotta see that room again. Of all of this, and frankly, this room's really impressive too. Just kind of badass. Uh, but I think it was adjacent to that. Yeah, to this room. But the, I do like this mod. Again, I don't think I, I would use it in my normal yeah. playthroughs, but I've always been kind of obsessed with Zeppelins. And, uh, I mean, for one, you, you look at a comparison. I know there's size comparisons with Zeppelins. And, huh? and sometimes, uh, well, it would seem that one of the most common ones you see is the Titanic and the Hindenburg, just to show that they are relatively the same size. And I've said this so many times uh, people that know me well should should yeah. likely be sick of it but you know I mean it's just it's, a, it's one thing to think of, of how amazed people were when they saw the Titanic granted we've got larger cruise ships now but just imagine that thing in the sky to me that's that's unthinkable you know jumbo jets don't hold a candle to that 
and uh, frankly, I'm impressed with the size of some of our, our planes, but but that's just that's just a minute fraction compared to the size uh, of some of these Zeppelins. Okay, mission time. So uh, there's the Russian Revolution one. Uh, that's that's interesting. There's the port one, which is interesting. I, I want to check that out. Because uh, you steal a, uh, a dreadnought. And that, nah, well, well, you know. I think I'll do the third one wherever it is. Here. Travel to the Amertha. Which is such a mafia word. To the Amertha Airport. Hey, Kevin Alabear, how the hell are you? <laughs> Why is my super chat not enabled? Uh, cause, cause I'm a noob. And besides, uh, I don't know. Remind me what Super Chat's good for. Is it, uh... Is it people able to... To... Donate or something like that? Because... Uh, I'm certainly not asking for money. I don't think I'm worth money. Oh, it's a floating tractor! Okay, that, that kind of... Breaks the immersion for me. I'm just going to pretend. Here, we'll just... Elevate our head a little bit. There. There's no floating tractor. So this is the Omertha mission. Initiate, disable, and... Well, we want to initiate, right? Somewhere in the airport hides the consigliere of, of a mafia boss. Fight him, take him out. Your target has made friends in an opposing family. And now, they pull out all the cannons to protect him. He tries to flee to Europe. Get him before he departs. Well, if he gets to Europe, I'm sure Kevin Alibear will, will, will rub him out for me. Ah, <clears throat> uh, thanks, Grayson. Very appreciated. <laughs> if I want to throw money around, I should be able to. It's a fair point. Fair point. Ah, that's what Super Chat is. People donate a few bucks and add a comment. But you can comment for free. But no, I, you make a fair point. If people want to give money to a lost cause then, then that's I mean what's happening are you who are these folks shooting at well besides me clearly they're shooting at me now seriously only one of those connected Okay, rather than use, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna go to the menu and take a stim back. We only got 45 of them. I don't know, I still might be dead here. These guys just keep coming, or what, what the deal is? This is uh, kind of insane. Got 
Where are the cops? Fuck, I should have brought my own. You got FCOM. I know, I know, it killed the Super Shroud. <laughs> Always comment for free, see? See, I cater to that. So yeah, that was kind of nuts. I think we're going to stay hidden here for a minute. That's weird. That lady doesn't seem to mind the uh, veritable war zone that was just feet away from her. I am the cops. This is the cops. <laughs> With the word princess on her shit-covered shirt. I can call it that. I, it's it's Kanata's mod, but I, I'm the one that did the textures for this particular outfit. So, so if I want to say it's shit-covered, it, I mean no offense to the mod author. That would be my fault. Uh oh well, look, the police are here. Or they were. Oh, is that a, that's a Zeppelin right there. Jesus. Does she have any hand grenades? Let's find out what her weapon situation looks like. No, but she's got binoculars. And a comfy sleeping bag. Well, thank God. Ah, yeah, yeah. I see, I see what you're saying. That's where Super Chat comes in handy when you, you kind of get lost in the comments. And you actually want to make a point. Yep. So is that it? Your comment just kind of lingers a little longer? Oh shit, we can go in there? No, no we can't. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I heard that lady shout, help me, I don't know what they're... They're certainly not shooting at her. Because they, have, they haven't let up on me at all. Come on, fire the last one. She's got to reload. A little bubber, but a little bubble. Hovers at the top of the stream for a few minutes. The stream will stop periodically. Check it. Ah, yeah, yeah. So it does. It does kind of linger then longer than your uh, typical comment. Of course, the uh, crit is the only thing that connected. I just realized that my TV's volume was up. It's probably got some echo there with the uh, gunshots, especially.
<laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I would read the comments aloud too, Grayson, but I probably shouldn't read yours aloud right now. Although now, now the chat's persistent, uh, in so much as, uh, you know, it sticks around after the stream, I might as well. But, <clears throat> I see what you're saying. I guess if I were in their position, I would actually read those comments. Um, no. If, if indeed, they're giving me two gold, I, I would take it. And I, I, I feel like it would, I would be obligated to read the comments. Here comes the shit star. So, I mean, this mission is kind of no joke. But I'm not gonna connect with that. Damn, damn, damn. They've set up a firing line over there. It's like I'm fighting Civil War reenactors with automatic weapons. <laughs> At least they're firing uh, Tommy guns, because those, those do shit for damage in this game. Which is odd. Yeah, that's the truth, Kevin. I'm liking these old school cars. I just don't know how he built them using in game assets. That is beyond me. I mean, are the seats. Yeah, those are. Yeah, I don't know. I cannot wrap my head around that. Because bear in mind, this is all in-game assets. Which, uh, yeah. That's why I keep trying to look to see what what he used for what. Probably should check my right. Looks good. Yes, Kevin, this, this, this mod actually is available on PS4. Yep, I, I think he released it on PS4 today. And that, that's the only way I, I'm sure that he's only using in-game assets, because obviously, uh, they, you know, Sony wouldn't touch that if he was, if he was not. There's still somebody out there hurling insults my way, so where the hell are they? There they are. Shit. Somebody flanked on the right. You have to flank harder than that to get the drop on Princess. Where'd he go? <laughs> I just thought where'd he go would be the perfect caveat to that statement. Critical. 
goes. Uh, when I'm sick of missing, that's always handy, isn't it? So the consigliere is, I guess, inside this building. I didn't. <clears throat> maybe I don't have. No, there is no quest markers. That's right. That's. Yep. Yeah. Boob shot. <laughs> Here's the thing about the boob shot with this chick. Um, I wasn't kidding when I called her a shit shirt. I added mud to the shirt, and I got kind of carried away. And frankly, it looks like she wipes her ass with that shirt. I don't know. Maybe it's blood stains and just, you know, when blood dries up enough, it almost almost looks brown if it's old. Well, let's call it that. Or maybe it's a mix of both shit and blood. Because that's, that's known to happen. Yeah, I, I was tempted to follow the, uh, the mission marker, but this, this doesn't have mission markers. He, he said that as well, that they're kind of unofficial missions because to actually technically have missions, he would have to, uh, he'd have to do scripting, which he's not allowed to do if he wanted this thing to be on PlayStation 4. So I don't know if the consigliere has... You know, if I'll only be able to identify him by the name? Well, I bet that's him. Yep. Yep, keep facing the wall. It's like the Valentine's Day Massacre over here. Well, shit, if you're supposed to assassinate him, don't make him like a boss. Don't give him boss health. I just think it'd be a lot cooler if, uh... Since he's the assassination target, he should be the weakest guy on the block. Just so he got the, uh, a little bit of immersion. Shit, he's got 20 gold. Well, I bet she can't walk anywhere. She can't run anymore. Or no, she can. Perchance it's gold coins. <clears throat> so there's that. I guess that's mission accomplished. And can I not board this Zeppelin? I probably can't. Yeah, no. Oh well. Hmm. So I don't know what that means. So I just go back the way I came, or what? In a way, what is the point of this mission? I know in the one mission... Hey, Hellraiser, welcome aboard. Thanks for, uh, thanks for checking it out. We are at the tail end. I was, I was looking at all the Zeppelins, and you decided to get into some of the missions. And so this is the first of those. I don't know how, how long I am through this night, but... Maybe I'll knock out one more mission. Anyways, the, the one mission where you, where you go to the port... You're, you're tasked with stealing a dreadnought, a, uh, like a World War One battleship, you know? And, uh, at least in that, when you go back to the Commonwealth, you've got the dreadnought with you, and it's a player home. So you get something out of that mission. I don't see where you get anything out of the mission we just did. And maybe you're not supposed to. I don't know. You know, Kevin Alibert gets around. He's a man on the scene. And thanks, Hellraiser. Much appreciated.
thing is, I, I don't know where I'd find any information on, on whether or not I could have... Shit, I don't know. W was it possible to take that Zeppelin? <clears throat> Make it a player home? Or is the, the walking away from these missions with a player home only limited to that, that particular huh? mission with the, the poor? As for me, I don't have the answer. Learning as I go. But suffice to say, if you, if you haven't seen, uh, for instance, this room, it's pretty damn impressive considering he's only using in-game assets. I gotta say, his, his decorating skills are, uh, they're up there with the best of them. I know that sounds like lip service, but, but I mean it, I'm being sincere. Okay, another mission. Let's try. I think I've got time for the Russian one. Then I do have to call it quits. I'm about to stream an hour longer than, than is typical. Here it is. And again, just like the last one, I, I don't know that this will yield us anything. I suppose we will find out. And yeah, we got to see all the Zeppelins, save for the, uh, the Graf Zeppelin. Um, for some reason it was crashing when, when trying to do that. Uh, the upside is we did get to see the Hindenburg, and the Graf Zeppelin was its sister ship, so there isn't going to be a huge difference between those two ships. Yeah, this is a war zone, or certainly sounds like one. As the Great War comes to an end, a new conflict has erupted. You've had Bolsheviks... You've learned Bolsheviks got in possession of gold confiscated from the Tsar's treasury. I don't know why I'm trying a British accent here. The war train carrying the precious cargo was intercepted by Tsar loyalists. Find your way through the fighting factions and claim the treasure for yourself. Are no factions allied to me? I mean, who the hell am I? And I'm certainly not dressed for the weather. Yeah, she needs to put on something warmer. There we go, pink underwear. No, um... Maybe something with a little bit of defense. Fuck it. Fuck it. Go, go back to it. Or no. I guess she's got the, uh, the Nuka Girl outfit. Oh, who am I kidding? Let's just wear another cheerleader getup. Come on, she's over here trying to end communism before it gets started. And she's dead. Yeah, I do have mods. Um, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> some have argued I have too many mods. Just none of them are here right now. Um, but I'm a small channel anyways. Uh, but the truth is, when I started... I started giving it away like it was candy, you know what I mean? It was candy, and I'm out in a parade. And so now I'm in a position where I have to take mod shit away from people. It's kind of curious. But I guess when I start doing that, they'll understand. Her winter outfit is perfect. I... You know, um, I'm on Eastern Standard Time um, in the States. Um, and usually I start around midnight. It's, uh... I've, I've found myself being way too busy for my own good. And, uh, it's... Jesus Christ, this bitch can't hit shit. Even when I try to do it manually. This is bad. Oh, wow. I just realized her underwear picks up from the uh, typical texture. That's weird looking.
but I guess cheerleaders do wear spankies, don't they? Uh, in other words, you know, what they're wearing under the skirt often matches your skirt, but I don't know about this tracks. Anyways, I'm probably talking a bit too much about her panties. I know, someone out there is like, no, you can't talk enough about her panties. Tell us more about Allison's panties. Oh well, they're shooting at each other. Why the fuck should I get involved? Yeah, that, that is way too many enemies. And clearly they already know I'm here, so... Truth is, she's getting herself killed again. I mean, she's a cheerleader. Why, why is she getting involved with the communist revolution? Moreover, why? Why did the Kaiser send Lenin here to begin with? It's his fault. I'll tell you why. Because he wanted to bring down the Tsar with the communists. But it's kind of like lighting your, your neighbor's apartment on fire. When you share the same building. Because that shit came back to bite Germany in the ass. Lollipop chainsaw, I could see that. Grayson, head him for bed, understandable. I tell you, you're not going to miss anything but me dying, so. Uh, but yeah. I agree, it is more of an, an expansion. But thanks for being here, Grayson. Do sleep well, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. You're always appreciated. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what you mean by a raid. I thought you were talking about swatting me. No, I'm joking. Uh, you know, that, that that's cool if you would want to subject your viewers to my mediocrity. It's, uh... <laughs> you know, it's... It's hit or miss here. Like, currently it's a miss, but look how many damn red dots are on my screen. This, this is kind of ridiculous. He's just... He threw a shitload of enemies in here. Allison ought to just turn her ass around and get back aboard her Zeppelin. I don't know what, yeah. She's just gonna hide and let them sort it out. <clears throat> Open tabs, lower volume, not mute, commentary, and there, show support. Support is always appreciated. I, I, you know, I, I too try to support my fellow YouTubers, uh, especially the people in the little, little community that I found myself in, you know, you know how that happens, you end up, end up with a core group of people. And I, I must say, our, our, our little, little club seems to uh, seems to expand, generally for the better. I mean, uh, something tells me, Jesus. Something tells me, all along this train, it's going to be the same story. Ass load of revolutionaries and loyalists, whatever, I mean, it's just there's very little room for a cheerleader here. I'm telling you, I should have brought an FCOM squad. You know what, it's, it's exploring time. Time to just move up the train. See, they got planes without wings. Yeah, that's cool for transporting. Little tanks. Those are like Renault tanks, kind of. Uh, 
what that noise is. I'm guessing it's like the, the steam engine. <laughs> Just leave Allison alone. She ain't gonna make it. Get the hell out of here and go back to one of the uh, one of the Zeppelins. Eight hundred to nine sixty-five in three days. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's serious growth. That's that's like taking a little blue pill kind of kind of growth. Jesus, two hundred and thirty to nine sixty-five in four weeks. You know, I mean, the thing about me is I'm I'm just not. Uh, I'm not overly ambitious, so <laughs> I, I hate to say it. Um, it's a sad state of affairs. Uh, you know, I'm at 150, I think, but I don't. Uh, I don't typically advertise when I stream. You know, some people will, well, you know, get on Discord and do the whole at everyone thing or. Use other social media to to link to the fact that they are streaming. I never do that. Um, I say I stream from midnight to to three Eastern Standard Time, but I don't really abide by that rule of thumb, unfortunately. But I guess it goes back to uh, <clears throat> I just you know I'm one of those folks that, that would stream for no one. You know, to an audience of zero, I'd probably still be streaming because uh, th that that time frame, midnight to three, it's uh, it's pretty much my only chance to play. And so when I want to play something, I figure I might as well stream it. That is until like until my son gets a little older, and then I can, you know, I'll certainly have more time. Um, But as it stands, I'm a goof. I, I I just screw around and stream. And... Seven tabs open, shit. Under, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm losing my voice here. Understandable, Kevin. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Yes, get that monthly update done. Otherwise, Gary will give you shit about it. He gives me shit every day. No, <laughs> he's he's just razzing me, <clears throat> and it's usually funny as hell. So, but don't worry about being late, man. Take it from me, I'm four weeks late. In in Ohio, we call that a month. Oh, gotcha. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure some of the raids are pretty impressive. Um, you know, depending on the channel, probably bring over quite a few people to somebody else's stream. That's that's cool. That's a that's a selfless thing to do, and there's there's nothing wrong with that. Very cool indeed. But as for this stream, let's see, I've, I've almost gone to 4 in the morning, Eastern Standard. Already, Kevin? Do be well. Yeah, I heard about that, Kevin. Uh, I'm not trying to keep you later, but I, I know you gotta go. You may have already gone, but you, that that's bizarre. What, what I heard about the electricity situation over there. Everyone rates everyone, so it's kind of like sub for sub, in a way, right? Which is all right. I, I've never, never gone for that myself, but but raids, eh, I don't know. Sounds fun. Hell, if you're done streaming, and you know that there's another quality content creator out there, um, what's the harm in sending everybody their direction? But usually, I mean, that's what I try to do. Plug the, plug the people I I know and have watched for a while. Um, 
certainly I was take Kevin Alibear, the fellow the fellow that just left. Uh, in fact, if I'm not mistaken, you said you recognize his name. He, you know, he's a content creator. Really good stuff over there. Um, and everybody's doing this challenge recently that uh, Loco Four Pack it has uh, has thrown down the gauntlet, issued a challenge, and he's gotten a really good response from various content creators. Uh, so far, they've been great. I participated myself, but kind of have fallen behind because of real life. There's always real life to catch up, eh? But I am about at the uh, the end of the old stream, so I, I am gonna go ahead and close it out. Um, what can I say? It's another Sunday night, the beginning of a uh, stream week for me. I'd like to say that I'm going to be streaming every night this week up until, what, Thursday, I guess, because I typically do not stream Fridays or Saturdays unless something odd happens. Um, but, yeah, I've been, been awful busy, so I cannot say that I will be here every night this week. Nonetheless, I do want to give a special mention to those that were with me on Discord earlier tonight. That would be Sushi Cat Gamer. It's always a blast to have her around. She, uh, she had to go, had, had a day ahead of her. So, I do wish her the best of luck with that day. At any rate, she, uh, has a channel of her own. I highly suggest folks check it out. You know, if I had the link handy, I'd throw it up. But I think most people out there know where to find her. Um, then, of course, we were joined by JPIC Odeth. JPIC Odeth. Streams Fallout, streams retro games last night. He was streaming uh, games from the Sega. Shit, what is that console? I don't rightly really recall. But it was an old ass console. It wasn't the Sega Genesis. Hey, Hellraiser, thanks for being here. And you know, that's, that's really it. Uh, most of all, I thank you. The people that took the time to swing by and see what was happening over here on the channel, that includes Hellraiser, uh, of course, Grayson, um, Kevin Alibear, much appreciated. Uh, who else did we have here? Late to the Fallout? A few others. Bubba, of course, was here earlier. And so, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody taking the time. Uh, tonight I've been looking at these Zeppelins in this Age of Airships mod. Uh, earlier I did mention the mod author's name. Honestly, shit, at this point, it's kind of slipped my mind. But nonetheless, you can find a mod on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. <laughs> Curiously enough. You know, I'd like to say that someday the PlayStation's mod... Um, acceptance of mods will kind of get a little more liberal, but we'll see. We'll see. That's up to Sony. Folks, this is Automatic for Automatic Games. If you like this, like this, and if you are subscribed, I hope to talk to you soon, friends. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.